screen yeah, and three two one that kind of thing uh, we need to make sure that that's, that's, when that's you're that's why. Is that... buying the q-tip you no. make sure <laughs> you're here and you try to don't get the resistance because you will actually do damage to you told me that before and then but I turned you out said that cool. yesterday we're streaming hello yes <laughs> Welcome to the show. That's you right. did the exact same thing. <laughs> I am your illustrious DM, Dick Naylor, here for another episode of the World of Florium, a homebrew d and setting with my own creation and my weird, weird mind. Back today, uh, we're missing a, a player, unfortunately. Our good friend Sally will not be joining us as she is currently spending time with her family and not her real family, the D&D family that she has made here. However, so we do have two of my looking at uh, my teach Twitch stream here. To my immediate right, we have the amazing Jim Piper. Hi, Jim. Hi. Uh, I'm your... I... Oh, what are you saying? What? I was going to say, I'm your mighty old lord of Sanity Tech Gaming. The mighty will ever will be. I'm James and I play Woden. Okay. The human, elf, the human ranger. Nice. And to my immediate bottom. Which is unfortunate to say, considering it is Rach. Hi, Rach. <laughs> Hi, guys. I am Rachel. I play a new character called Nyla Shadowcrawler, and I am a human monk. Excellent. And below that, uh, or below Rachel, which is probably unfortunately sandwich, uh, it is Scott. Hi, Scott. Hello. <laughs> um, I am playing Melgrum, the grumpy dwarf that hates magic. <laughs> Excellent, yeah, well, that, that may come up in, uh, in this stream as well because it almost touched on it in the last one. Mm -hmm. And uh, below our good friend Jim Piper is the gorgeous ginger that is Lee. Hi, Lee. Hey, um, yeah, uh, I play a Romana Flora Galeca for Elf. But you can call me Ralph, uh, a turtle cleric um, who has been doing his best to keep the uh, team alive and is recently suffered some losses which may affect how he does things moving forward he says looking at melgram yes indeed <laughs> it does seem there's was a, a well bit of history back history from the well we're going to say the session zero part of the campaign we'll call it it was all it was quite a few session zeros before we got to this point <laughs> however we will, we will continue with the group here as we go up above lee slightly and look to our handsome the the, the eye candy of the group leon leon how you doing oh. I'm good, good. Um, I am Leon. I play Gaz, the naive, anxiety-filled, heart of, with a heart of a gold uh, warlock. Um, and he has recently been uh, not quite sure how to uh, handle the, the relationship with his patron, who seems to not be helping him with everything he, he he needs. So, that's him. Or all he seems to be, for that matter, when we were discussing in conversations. Uh, yeah, and last, but Very always big. least, because I make sure he's least now. And last, more importantly, uh, to our immediate, if you're watching the screen, to the immediate oh, right, I mean, hopefully, I mean, yeah, it is our good friend David. David, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, and I am here playing as Sir Janus de Grande, the greatest part of the world. And of course I go last. You never put the main act on first. Of course, you always want the headline on last. A good point. So, who remembers where we left off last session? I was in prison. Yes, you were. Right. Yeah. And I will be free. Lots of pointy things on us. You will free me. <laughs> I stare at all of you. Well, well my, my new character was in a, a cage getting poked to death <laughs> by uh, some weird looking people and I was trying to call down in Warfish for some help and I was getting poked in the back. This is true. So um, if anyone else would uh, like to add to that or not, we will continue from here as I give you the full recap. So yes, after the ship, the Broken Oar, uh, fell to its inevitable doom, purposely for session one on the live stream. Uh, you all went flying into the Iron Oak Ocean below the canopy where a lot of strange and wonderful things have yet to be seen, but more and more are coming to the forefront as we continue within the campaign. Uh, you were all separated, and unfortunately with uh, with that separation came a few deaths there's, and a few missing. 
and people. Our good friend, Nim the Paladin, has fallen the first of the campaign, as has Vanon, the not-so-fallen, or maybe continuously falling at this point. Uh, he has now gone missing as you try to decide and decipher what to do next. From there, you've all managed to meet up and gather in this small little, rickety little ledge on top of one of the, the trunks and trees of the, the, the great iron oaks of the Iron Oak Ocean. And then you were suddenly attacked or threatened, shall we say, as you've seen, looked up and you've seen some wonderful creatures and looked like kind of almost wooden mechanical nature clinging onto the bottom of the canopies as they were starting to look as if they were hunting you. Um, on top of them seems to be controlling the three Kreen, or the Kreen as they're known in this lands, as you learned a little bit more about these insectoid creatures who happen to reside under the canopies of the Iron Oak Ocean and seem to enjoy it as well. From there, uh, un, uh, <laughs> Rachel decided to roll a, a d4 for us. Uh, someone picked evens and Nim is definitely no more as the, the big harpoon went flying through her corpse and her, her oh, mini tomb yes. was made by the lovely uh, Sally who will not be with us this evening. Uh, Daphne, for instance. Uh, everyone seemed to take that as a, an act of war and decide they were going to kill these MNFers. So, as far as introductions go, it's not the most friendly. Yes. And I now mm. have a couple of rolls to make because seeing that the things are threatening, as we remember correctly left off, we have Daphne and Melgrim's currently shimmying up the, the way up this silken rope that one of the harpoons has latched itself onto. Uh, we have Ralph, who is sitting back giving some magical aid, as is, I think, Sir Janice de Grande. And our good friends here, who have just literally came into the campaign, are currently imprisoned in one of these mechanical uh, kind of looking spiders. And on top of that, our good friend Leon. What was Leo, uh, Leon? Um, what was Gaz doing at this point? Gaz was trying uh, his darndest to try and get up the rope to the vehicle, um, and failing. As far as I'm aware. As failing, yes, this is true. Yeah, because you were trying to call upon your patron, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, so I'm going to make a couple of things because even though it's not a surprise action, these three queen will get some. Interesting things to do. So, as Daphne and our good friend Melgrim start to shimmy up the silken wire, or single wire, the, sing the silken rope from one of the harpoons latched, you will hear... Actually, Melgrim, give us a perception check, my friend. Cool. I have managed to get in a D&D beyond now. <laughs> uh, who's Napoleon Gold? <laughs> okay. Excellent. It's Leon. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Melgron, you hear nothing. Um as does a fourteen hit you, my friend? No. Excellent. So unless I'm at some form of AC disadvantage having climbing stuff. Oh, this is Good point. You are. Oh, shut my You had to give them an idea. Well, why did <laughs> yes. you do that, man? They would ha have advantage. You're absolutely right. Thank you for that. For being so honest. Not that it matters. <laughs> so, uh, your honesty obviously saved you there. Um, if as I, you... If I lied, it would hit me in the next one. <laughs> well, here's the thing it does hit you, uh, but it just kind of kind of falls off you. It was something kind of loose and limp as it <laughs> and just falls off you. Um, from where you are, you couldn't see what it was, uh, but something hit you. Uh, and the other one will be going for the lovely, is not appearing in this episode, Daphne. That's where you got to get a nat 20 or something, but she's not here. <laughs> I could be doing with a nat 20 right now. It looks as if I'm not doing the best. No, no, one nat 1's for you. Hmm. It doesn't look as if it's going well too far. I will check something. 
I'm pretty sure it's going to miss anyway. Uh, the same thing will happen. Now, Daphne said she was going up first, so um, mm. if I you know, if that perception check, my friend, you probably still wouldn't have seen what happened. But she kind of stops as well as some, you hear a thud, uh, something hit her, and it just falls down. Uh, so, yep. And the next we will... Uh, what's your passive perception, Ralph? And 14. Sir Grandy. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen me, and so, Janice, what is your per passive perception, mate? My passive perception is twelve. Okay. Uh, well, let's have a look. Right. Uh, so, Janice, does a fifteen hit you? Yes, it does. Okay. Can you make me a Constitution saving check? And Ralph, does a nine hit you? No. Okay. You hear something ting off your the back of your shell. Uh, Ralph is currently looking at the impaled corpse of his friend. And it's hard to read the expressions on a turtle's face because they're kind of hard scales. But if you knew about such things, he looks really fucking pissed off. Yeah. And he plans on doing something in a second. <laughs> oh no! Oh boy! You're saying, you're saying he's really mad, but I'm just imagining like say that turtle scream when they're either having sex or they're mad. So I'm just <laughs> picturing him going. Excellent. Ah, right. isn't that what they do? Oh, something like that. <laughs> Which means so, Janice, fun. something hits you in the on your butt. So, boom, ow! And then all of a sudden, you kind of ooh, stiffen up and you fall face first, just fall straight to the ground. <laughs> You are currently paralysed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Right. Are these like... Mm. If you are determined to do a... <laughs> to do a battle, if everyone could make me, including yourself, uh, Sir Janice, make me an initiative roll and we'll go from here. Um, I was going to say... Um... Do you want me to go and see if I can find some royal to free music that for your battle? No, so you don't. In fact, for Bard, should you do that? Play some music. The Bard can't do much. He's paralysed right now. I but he can be lying there, paralysed, going. I'll be slightly muffled. Well, Grum sucks. He really, really sucks. Yeah, I rolled a uh, Ralph's rage mouse to get me an eight. So oh, man, man, look, I'm really right. Ooh, that has, however, nice. So me uh, being terrified, I rolled from rolls who right twenty five to twenty. Uh, I'm twenty two. And Janice, you are eight. Twenty. Okay. So. Our good friend Gads, our good friend hmm. 22, 20. Okay, uh, from 19 to 15. I've got 15. Both of you are 15. Oh. Okay, and who has the highest X modifier? I got plus four. Right, X, where are you? Yours are plus three. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so that will be. The lovely Rachel and the tells you how much almost the lovely James. From 15, 15. Uh, okay, from there, 14 to 10. That would be me at 13. Okay, that is lovely Scott at 13. Okay, 10 to 5. Yes, seven. That should be everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is. Uh, Sir uh, Daphne, who is not appearing in this, will go off the enemy's turn for brevity and saveness. And that is. And you had 10, was that, Lee? No, seven. Seven. Oh, wow. Okay. That is interesting. So. Top of the round. This is going to be uh, after the conversation we had just before the stream. 
I don't know how to make a map for this. This is this is an insane battle, and this was you know this is where my improv skills. Everyone who's seen my tweet put out, yeah, this I had a lot of stuff planned. Not going exactly the way. This is where my improv skills come in. So, theater of the mind. Theater of the mind. If everyone were the most uh, if, powerful if, graphics the, card there is. I, I, I'm just imagining like uh, Melgram just killing them all in one go. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> Just not what you mean. Including just Rachel imagine, yeah. and I'm just imagining me getting out of uh, get, getting set free. So is it done now? <laughs> oh, this works, and it's not your turn. <laughs> however, Sorry. Yes. Uh, however, so we will go top of the round, which happens to be Gaz. Gaz, you are up with uh, the lovely Sir Janice on deck. So um, I'm now on, on the deck of the vehicle. No, you are on the deck of the rickety platform, standing with your good friends, Sir Janice and Ralph. Looking up at the at the vehicle with the, it's got like two ropes. Like, are there, how many ropes is it? Like, uh, into, it like, fired. Uh, it fired two harpoons. There's also one behind uh, your good friends, Sir Janice and Ralph. If you remember correctly from the last time, as another couple of uh, harpoons came down. So there is two vehicles. Straight. Okay. Um. Guys has already tried to get that to climb up to that uh, vehicle via the ropes. Right. That didn't work out. Um, so you know, um, if the if Muhammad can't go to the mountain, I'll, I'll try and get the mountain to come to Muhammad. I'll I'll try. Some is there any um, like um, some kind of like engine or some kind of like way I can see that this thing's like being like some kind of like propulsion um, that I can like target and try and like take out to try and get it to come down uh, to us. well um give us a perception check i'll i'll give you it free in fact call it your reaction six not very familiar with this <laughs> um doesn't look like anything like that at all. Like to say, uh, from the previous description, it looks like a a mechanic, a wooden mechanical spider of some sort. Okay. Um, I think I'll just try and see. I uh, try and uh, hit the actual vehicle with um, whatever spell is the most range. So, uh, how how far away is it from me? Uh, at this point, we'll say 80 to 90 feet above you and 30 feet away from you. I can hit it with a witch bolt um, 30 feet away. Hell so yeah, I'll, go give us that. I'll try that. That's a 17 to hit. Who, that? Who went out of Discord? We lost. Abby. Um... David. That's okay. Uh, uh, it's just nice. it's messed with everybody's cameras, just so you're all aware. <laughs> so, 17 hits. <laughs> I'd absolutely see, um, screw the cameras up, one like, completely. Mouth, oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it has. It's completely destroyed it. Hi. Yeah. Um, it'll, hey, should, Jim, you try pushing down, I'll try pushing up. It should yeah. fix when you come back. <laughs> I'm in. here. Hello. <laughs> And I'm I, fine because uh, I'm using my webcam and see the Discord. Oh, nice. Well, uh, uh, you can see my avatar up. I use for Discord because it's glowing uh, when I speak. It we will, make, we will right. make do so far. So uh, I attacked with the the, the lightning, um, hit him with yeah, the, the witch bolt. Uh, I did twenty three damage. Okay, that is a good Yay. hit. As the which bolt lightning yeah, just just sparks up and just starts to hit. It has moved everybody. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, you oh, yeah, it's a That's range good. of thirty feet. You would not be able to you would not be able to hit from that range. Right, eighty feet above you, and then thirty feet across. Someone should have took lance. <laughs> yeah. You need spells. Uh, Even spell sniper would help. No, yeah. I am. Um, you've got the mechanics. Don't worry. You will. Uh, you will get. You can get your spell back. I, uh, I, know, I, I thought it was. I thought it was. I didn't know. It was, I thought it was thirty feet. Um, yeah, it's thirty. It's thirty three in front of you, but it's eighty feet up. So you're. It's, it's quite the distance. Okay. Um, the most I can do is. 
Um, try and protect myself then. I am going to use a bonus action uh, to cast uh, Spirit Shrouds. Um, so I'll begin kind of like coughing and this kind of like smoky um, kind of like ichor will come from my mouth and my eyes um, and it'll just kind of um, form around me um, making me um, quite uh, as, as if I have um, kind of like half cover yeah um, and until the spell ends, any attack um, I make deals an extra d8 damage. Um, I will um, I'm going to try and um, try and move up the, the rope again as my action. Yep, that is not a problem, so we will do that if you want to make me another athletics check, please. Teen. Yeah, you start to make your way up. Uh, oof, you're, get up, you're about 10 feet in the air by this point, away from the... Uh, we'll say, if, yeah, you're about 10 feet in the air. I just start to climb up. Uh, it's like rope gym class uh, all over again, climbing the ropes or trying to as was as you were going to be. Awesome. So, uh, and we'll call that your turn. We will now go to Sir Janice, who then we will have our good friend Raquel up on deck. So, Sir Janice, what do you do? Huh. Uh, good question. From what you told me, I am paralysed at this point in time, correct? Yes. As what can I do? <laughs> Is there any way I can try and break, th break free from this somehow? Hmm. Don't you have to get healed? For this particular thing... For this particular homebrewed thing... <laughs> I hate that word. I know. Um, Homebrew. Oh. To be the rules. <laughs> uh, like... You really shouldn't have did combat, but you've been sexting. <laughs> Homebrew. Uh, I'm in prison. <laughs> well, no. Well, no. Now you all have chosen death. You have chosen poorly. Let's. Actually, no, you cannot do anything. You are currently oh, paralyzed. You're you. face down. <laughs> so, uh, yes, you until on head going. So, yes, yeah, you're help me, help and that will you. You're still. There's something in my head. Yeah, you are still able to speak to someone at some point, but not as much as you'd like. Raquel, our good friend. Yes. Rachel. Okay, so and I am in James. After that, so I'm in a prison box, or what exactly? Uh, yes, it's uh, it's a cage hanging down uh, just below the underbelly of this uh, vehicle. Is it metal? Make a perception check. Come on, you dice. Uh, that was good. That was good. Uh, 21. Lovely. Right, okay. Uh, no, it's definitely not metal. Um, you've spent some time from your history uh, below the canopy. This is the unmistakable feel grain and density and all of that strength and durability of iron oak oh, shit. not only that well, for 21 um you're looking about and you're saying oh god uh especially now that st stuff's starting to fly like so like so spells uh going about and lights are now pointing on uh you've you again because of your human eyes you don't have very good dark vision 
thing being, um, you know from looking at it, this is this isn't a vehicle. This is an actual fucking spider. This is a giant spider. Okay. Uh, it is wearing some sort of iron oak armor. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish I knew this information early. prior. But, uh... <laughs> is there any way I can just... Sorry. I really should have said it at the start. Uh, I didn't know this was going to go this far, to be fair. So, should have said it at the start of the room. Uh, from, now on, from here on in, anyone with arachnophobia, I apologise in this. There will be giant spiders mentioned within this. Uh, I you won't will... see any, though. Yes. Yes. Before, I will not, I you'll not know. see any. Sometimes pure mention of it, arachnophobia, well, it may actually do... St- do a lot, That's very uh, true. Do, I apologise. Yes. So, however, I apologise as well. We should, probably should have mentioned the, the the technicality, but this was a secret up until this point. It's weird in D and D gaming because you try and do the best for your players as well as anyone watching. Well, this is a new thing for me. Anyone watching? It was a it was a game secret. Apologies. However, uh, yes, this is the case. Uh, is there I will probably not I can do escape? any actions or scary noises resembling arachnids. So. I will not keep that promise. <laughs> you can certainly try. Uh, can you make me... How, how is it you want to try and escape? Is there any kind of like, of like little lock or anything like that? There is not that you can see, uh, especially with the perception of 21. There doesn't seem to be a lock. It seems to be more of like a sliding side contraption. Uh, oh. That's, and it is pulled to the side and then pulled up so you're on the underbelly of this <clears throat> spider uh, so I am literally just going to try anything okay um, it is your Ooh, choice or something uh, mental <laughs> well the reason yeah, I'm like... asking you how are you going to dis- uh, how are you going to escape is because there's, there's two different varieties of, of, of escape if you want to try which will depending on the, the what role you want to be doing I'll probably roll rubbish and not escape, but hey, you know. Just yeah. rolled a 21 a second ago. Yeah, that's true. So, oh, by oh. The cost of right, the what day, did you want me to roll for? Roll for well, how are you escaping? Um, are you bending the bars? Are you trying to go through the bars? Are you, are you using brute strength? I would say I'm going to try and get through the bars because um, she's not actually that strong. I mean, she's not weak, but yes, she's not actually that totally like, strong. totally makes sense. So... so you would roll a... Do, 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 let's go straight to dexterity. Uh, actually, uh, acrobatics. Let's see acrobatics for this. 24. Excellent. Yeah, you're halfway rolled through. rolled a 7, and I've got... A, uh, no, I rolled a 17, sorry, and I've got a plus 7. So boom, you get halfway lucky. through. Your top half of the body is out now, and you start to squeeze your way out. Um, we'll say for this because you're a prisoner um, even though you'd be long resting and stuff like that you've technically not been long resting because you're prisoners so okay. um, half everything uh, spells uh, spell slots and key points for yourself because you're a monk uh, so just, half yeah. half everything off your sheet now just so to represent right. and, your, and your hit points just to show you're unhealthy at this point uh, I've got five key points. Do you want me to use three uh, or two? Yeah, put it down to two. Right, okay. Yeah, so you got Can two I key use a uh, key point to try and get the rest of my body out? Uh, how so? A bit of wind. Um, by using... Um... Escape cage? That's what, that's yeah, the, the, that's it's well known. It's a well known yeah. uh, monk. Feature. Ah, the natural monk ability. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Half step of the wind, and you can disengage. Yeah, that, doubles, that doubles your move. Like, yeah, can I disengage nice. from this? I like the way you're thinking, but unfortunately, no. You oh, have to be able to step. He can do weird yeah. stuff. Can I use Can I use flurry of blows to try and do like strength? For the rest of it, um, you've got to use an attack action. Yeah, um, you. Oh yes, yeah. I didn't use an attack action. That's completely That's fine. Uh, yeah, well, we'll but I've got. I can use an attack as a bonus action. You certainly can, but you would need to attack. So, um, yeah, it's um, 
even with with your perception of twenty one, you'll know that it's, this is Iron Oak. You're not you've yeah, been, been a trained monk. You know you know you're not going to break these. It's just hopeful. The, yeah, I get you. You're you're trying to get back into the the fight and pretty quickly. Which is it was very okay. uh, admirable of you. Uh, so from there That's we cool. will move on to Jim Ronan. Oh, um, Mary Dissing Cage was very funny. Yes, I, I did like that. Uh, yes. Yes, shout out to Mary, our artist. Yeah. Yay! Okay, see, uh, Mary, see that a million XP I took off you? You can have it back. <laughs> right. So, uh, oh. Ronan, you're up. So I'm, I'm in another cage and uh, I've got someone sticking a spear behind me. Uh, not anymore. Uh, they've, they've quickly moved to battle stations um, you've uh, seen them do this a handful of times in fact the last time you've seen them do it was when your new prison uh, cellmate was captured uh, damn I had a plan to try and grab the spear off him I get you, that would be uh, good uh, right mm. so would I know known this thing was a moving a living breathing thing as well no um, I will say yes. Uh, you're a right. you're a ranger. You would have known. Right. I'm gonna try um, I try and I might try and swing the uh, swing the cage to try and knock the thing off balance. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, do 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 do. Add my attack. Give us an acrobatics check. Cool. Uh... And this is the smartest thing you've okay. ever done. Right. <laughs> oh, that usually you like that's a compliment. Surprise, you're doing that, but that's yeah. like, like well um, done. It's starting to rock. Uh, you notice it's on some sort of rails, so when you're yeah. rocking it, it's starting to move towards the edge of where you would be pulled up. So uh, yeah, this is starting to, and it's, and you're starting to get a little bit of momentum. You're not there yet, but you're getting that's there. Good. I'm sorry, that's a good show, by the way. Um, can you do the same as well, Jim? Um, half your spell slots, if you've got yeah. any, uh, being yeah. a ranger. No, half nothing, your, yeah. yeah, and um, half your hit points as well, just to, for purposes yeah. of being a prisoner. Uh, I'll I'll let you in the fight, but not as well as the others. I'm presuming we have like no weapons on us or absolutely anything. Yes, you'll not have. You'll not have weapons. Figured. You, you are a living weapon, Rach. That shouldn't be a problem. So. Yeah, yeah. you're a monk. I was monk just curious because. Yeah. Monks have fists as weapons, you know. Yes, and so we go to <laughs> the Queen. There's a lot of stuff to happen here for the Queen. So, please don't kill me. Um, so, <laughs> Sir Janice de Grande, you are down. So we will go for another two attacks on one on each of our friends. <gasps> Actually, two attacks on Ralph because oh, okay, um, who do you call him is no longer in play. Our good friend Gaz. And these were the yes, this was this weapon. So we will. Does a eleven hit? Uh, no. Uh, this isn't for Gaz. This is for Ralph. Sorry. No, I don't think. But Ralph hasn't moved. So Ralph's still standing by the impaled yeah. thing, and this is the second thing to bounce off him. Yes, and the second hit does a twenty-three hit. No. Of course it does. <laughs> of course it does, right. So you feel a ting and then a right in the side of your neck. Could you make me a constitution saving throw, please? Yes. <gasps> the try uh, yeah, thingy yeah. everyone to capture you. I say thingy, Ooh, I, I know exactly one. what I mean. Yeah, I just can't see the mind. Yep, you, are, you also, as you step forward, it's... <laughs> ah, Paralysed. Oh, yeah, that's you a fall forward. Up. Yeah, yeah uh, you are now face first and you are paralysed. Uh, seeing as how David's done the same, you are paralysed for the remainder. Right. Uh, do, 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 do. The other one, uh, we will have another couple of rolls for Melgrum. Because you are technically closer. And, and Daphne, so we'll do you first. Probably and does a 19 hit the Melgrum? As well. Uh, does a 19 hit you, Melgrim? Yes. Right. Uh, you suddenly realise what they're trying to fire at you. Seems to be a net as it and just uh. wraps around you. Can you make me a strength saving throw, please? Okay. Right. 
Yeah, uh, as soon as the net hits you, you lose grip of the rope and you start swinging in this net. You are, uh, do, 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 you are currently restrained. And I'll need to do the same for... Uh, what do you call her? Daph. Daphne? Uh, I don't think that... Yeah, I don't think that actually beats her armor class. It shouldn't. She has the... No, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, definitely doesn't. Right, so, yeah, uh, the, the net just bounces off her harmlessly again as she starts making her way up. In fact, I will do her roll as well for athletics while we're here. In fact, I can do it from here. Why am I doing that? I have access to her character. I am the DM, damn it. I am the all-living, all-breathing god. I am the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> you are the CEO, indeed. <laughs> no, you're me, me. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it, mate. Oh, okay. Uh, appears that the net has, uh, as Daphne starts to, and she's let go, she has hold of the rope by one hand, and she currently can't do anything other than try and get herself back up. So, uh, from there, that is that. What else can I do? Hmm. No, I think we'll call it that the now. So that will be their turn. We will move down to Melgrim. Melgrim, you're currently restrained. What are you doing, my man? Hey, I'm going to try and cut out the ropes from my sword. Okay, and give us a minute. Or is it silk? Is it that silk stuff? Uh, yes, it's, it's, it is. Uh, from and the looks of it, it's I made by the same I cut that before when I was done, didn't I? You tried. Uh, uh, yeah, you. I think you. It took you a couple of swings, but you managed to get through. Cool. So give us a minute. I'm going to check something here just to restrain. Yep, a uh, creature's speed becomes zero. Attacks against a creature have advantage. Creatures' attack rolls have disadvantage, and you have the disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay. Yep. If you want to do that, you have a disadvantage on your saving throws. Okay. Uh, your attacks. Uh, and I will do me multi attack. Okay. Bump. Oh, that was just my damage that went, didn't it? Yep. Sorry about that. That better? Uh, bad for you. Yep. Uh, you want to? I can't see where it is. That's my saying. But that's fine. Yeah. Um, it was eleven and an eight. Mm -hmm. So because it's disadvantage, uh, unfortunately, that does not beat its AC. Right, so, uh, for, um, that was my purpose of this, you are hitting. You're trying to. You're trying to pull your rapier out because your rapier was holstered, basically. Right. So you're you're restrained in this net, I'm trying to pull still, your rapier out, basically. I've still got a second attack to be. Pound enough level for my second attack if memory serves me. Um, I'm seeing if you're level five, you this. should have a second attack depending on your class. I do have an and extra attack. Uh, there's stuff I can do other than that, but like right now, this is all I can do. Yes. Uh, yeah. If you want to do that, then mate. Uh, and what was your second roll? Was that an eight? Yeah. Uh, so there, yeah, it was an eight and an eighteen. Uh, again, uh, misses its AC. So you're desperately trying to get a hold of your rapier. It's just, you're struggling to get to it. Mm -hmm. uh, as you, oh, dad, I'm dead. As you're swinging side to side. Mm -hmm. I'll kill uh, you, fucking bastards. <laughs> that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> um. No Lee, fear. Lee, Fight me, man. Tim the war. Or whatever the hell you are. Lee, who is currently <laughs> paralysed. Uh, I'll check some up here as well. Because I'm pretty sure... I wrote this down. Uh, where are we? There we go. Do -do 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 -do. You're incapacitated. Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you're currently paralysed. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, so, oh, sorry, sorry, man. Uh, we jump straight to Leon then. What a fun session for me. Yeah, what a fun <laughs> session for Sir Janice as well. And yeah. me, Jake. Because... I almost took in a cage the whole of last time. Um, let's this is true. Uh, let's go and make the case that it's his this time as well. It's all yeah, Rich on Leon. Died. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, Rich died last session, so mm -hmm. though, let's, let's yeah. lay off the all. Oh, I, I had a bad session, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyhow. Um, I, uh, the, the spell that I cast um, on my last turn, um, I shouldn't have cast. Uh, it was just too high level, so I just, just I ignore that as if I only did, yes. didn't do it. Um, but for this one, can I tell that it's a creature, or am I still under the impression that it's a... a uh, if you want to make a perception check while you're 10 foot up on hanging off this rope, you certainly can. I'll try to make another perception. You can certainly Jesus. give it a go. I, I just... I'm, I'm um, still under the impression that this yeah. is. Uh, you're you're you're, you're 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 under pressure, mate. Um, as you hear a thud again, as you look behind you and you see Ralph fall forward, and then you see uh, Melgram fall off the rope as he's caught in this net. Uh, Daphne's just and uh, Daphne's hanging on now as she was trying to climb up and ah, uh, she's trying to get herself up. Man, it's all fall. It's it's all falling out. It's it's really really bad. Uh, it's a very you know, sophisticated panic. Uh, yeah. piece of machinery. Uh, I will uh, try. So um. I don't know if I can make an attack while on this thing. I how, how, uh, if I spend my turn trying to um, uh, get up the up, get up the rope, will I will I make it? How how far up, up is it? Well, like I say, it's eighty feet up. You've climbed ten foot, uh, just based uh, on your your roll for the athletics. You need to do two um, rounds. You take two rounds to get up there. Ah, if you succeed your athletics in both. Yeah. Um. It's not that he didn't succeed his athletics, it's just the athletics role determined how quick he was moving up that mm -hmm. rope. Uh, um, I, I was quite far up, but I still had to do another good yes, one. Yes, this to is true, up. yeah. You were ha you, between you and Daphne, you were halfway up. Mm -hmm. so And Daphne's further, slightly uh, 10 foot further ahead than, than you are. Um, like a movement speed? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just going to use my action to try and I don't know. Um uh I'll I'll uh use my action to even trying to get up. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Give a... Uh give us a, an athletics check. Uh your target number is slightly easier now that you're you've started the, the run. And we'll say it's slightly easier because you're you're panicking, you're you don't work well under pressure but you know you have to do yeah. something. Uh, that's not gas. Uh, gas is element, hundred um, yeah. percent. Fourteen, and I'll add on um, anything from my um, amulet just for the extra boost. Uh, I think we decided was it. Uh, yeah, yes. Seventeen. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, you've got this, guys. You've got this, and you boom, boom, boom. You start climbing up uh, at some speed. In fact, you use your full movement to get up there. Um, you're so you're halfway up the rope. Um, you can see now the the rope that the net that Melgram is in is now swinging slightly away from the rope. Probably might yeah. not be able to help him, but you're not too far away for Daphne. You might be able to get her up uh, as she's currently hanging on. Okay, um, I think that's I think that's my entire our turn. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, man. Uh, we'll go from there down to Sir Janice de Grande, who is currently face on the floor. Um, Ralph and Sir Janice, what is your passive perception again? I think yours was 12, you said, David? Yes, it is. Okay, that's good. Uh, and I'm, I think Ralph's is a wee bit higher, 14. 14. Excellent. Uh, you both hear this. Boom, boom, as you hear two loud thumps behind you. You can't see what's happening. Your face, your face down, unfortunately. But you hear the boom, boom from behind you. Uh, Otherwise, am I able to tell what it is that's bit me? Um, what what's caused me to be paralysed? Is there anything about it? Yeah, make. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's technically your go. Yes, uh, make me. Let's say either a survival or a history check. Uh, for survival, because I stand a better chance in that. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if this will be useful information for me, but at the very least, it's worth a try. Always worth the try, my man. Pardon me. This oh. dice is rolling. So slowly on my screen, it's terrifying. 
The dice is taunting me, is what it's doing. Oh, oh yeah, you're running, That's you're painful. running slow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, yeah, all for all for that five as well. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what a time to be alive. <laughs> it could have been a bug. Uh, it could have been something. Um, f from the thump behind you, though, you kind of you kind of put two and two together and come up with some sort of blow dart. Uh, however, nothing that springs to your mind that thinks anything other than that. You just think, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. We're dead. We're done. Uh, as we go on... And now, the end is near. <laughs> I'm sure I finish. I'm sure I finish. The final. <laughs> the final curtain. Uh, do, 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 do. Ooh, who's... Oh, it's Rach. Yeah, that's Ara's Rach. I put you down in the, the order. Rach, uh, you're up. Okay, I'm going to try and get the rest of my body out of the cage. Yeah, no problem. Uh, acrobatics. Uh, 21. Yeah. Get in. You kind of pull and you kind of bend slightly the bars just to get your hips past it. And it's... Boom. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yep. Ah, as you, freedom. Thing being is you, you start to feel the, the cage rocking with that last kind of pull out uh, as your hips get out. Uh, hmm. Should have be cruel. Just no. go for it. No, let's not do Go that. for it. Oh, you're a monk. Aye, you're a monk. Easy. Uh, Go maybe for a, it. Make me a deck saving throw. So that's just not a high level monk that doesn't even need to do that for the landing. <laughs> 11. Oh. Wait, unless that's a. Nope, that's a 4. So it's uh, an 11? Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. So, so roll up on your character. Starts roll and then it starts to roll back and go, oh fuck, boom, and you grab on. So you're now hanging on to the cage slightly as it's just Okay, how up. how far away am I from any surface? Oh, you're about, well, considering your height, you're talking about 75 feet away from the bottom of where Ralph and uh, Sir Janice de Grande are standing, and you're about 30 feet away from that. So that would be a hell of a jump. Um, you're you actually closer to you're closer to the silk rope from the harpoon. If anything, um, you would be able to jump onto it. However, it's not a simple across jump. It's a jump down and across, so you would get to it and then be able to climb up on top of the spider. Apologies for the arachna. So. I missed the first bit because I was trying to read something. So. No, no, that's okay. So you are you can't make it to the platform they're on. You're 75 feet uh, above the platform that Ralph and uh, Sir Janice are on. The, the, how, the how, much, uh, Janice how much damage would you get there. if you jumped that far? That's a hell of a target number. You'd be closer to the silken rope that the one the harpoon is on, where you see another person currently climbing up in a Because I have slow target. fall where I can reduce... Uh, my damage by 25. Now, how slow fall works, and uh, it's not in theory. For a monk, it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How slow fall works is you need to have something to grab onto to, to slow the descent. So if you're hitting up against a wall or you're falling down a hill, you flatten your body and kind of roll with it to try and slow the momentum. Like this isn't roll. a magical spell. However, you wouldn't be floating down. You'd still be falling fast, so it, slow fall technically wouldn't work in your favour at this point. It wouldn't However, no. However, you are under the canopy. There may be some branches that do it. It could be possible. But I can guarantee you, it's a hell of a target number to try and reach that platform. You would be easier going for the silk rope that's hit uh, from the harpoon and jumping yeah, towards I'll go that. Yeah, I'll now, do that. This, I will, give you the, I will give you it straight. This is a target number 20. So if you want to go for this, by all means... Uh, We'll go for acrobatics or athletics, yeah. your choice. I'll do acrobatics and hope I don't roll low. Makes total sense. Son of a god, 17. Oh, uh, so it's a it's a fair jump. You whew, you swing the cage and let go, go into a, this beautiful swan-like backwards, uh, backwards flip as you start to go, uh, and you go for the rope. I'm nice. Oh, shit. Um... Sir Janice would be proud. Maybe, 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 maybe now. Here is where slow fall would come into play, <laughs> because you've missed the rope. 
However, there is a angry looking dwarf in a net sitting right now. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to go for that, or you can make a dis- dexterity saving throw to try and grab onto the ro- the the now swinging Melgrim as he's uh, <laughs> swinging in this net. Um, you want to live, so I would suggest you do. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab on to Melgrim's um, cage. Right. If I'm Just able, I would like... want to kind of like grip her as well somehow, like maybe put an arm out to you if right. it helps at all. Okay, I'll use this as your reaction, Melgrim. Mm. Give me a perception roll. As you currently don't know this is happening, just to see if you see or hear what's happening. If you do, I will... Oh, nope. No, okay, so the target number doesn't go down any, right? So you're currently still trying to get your rapier out oh, okay. as, you, as, the, as you're swinging. Now, the target number will be 18 for this uh, because you're still falling, you're moving forward, it's easier to grab on, and he is swinging, unfortunately, so it doesn't bring it down that much. So your target number is 18 to grab on to the... Uh, <laughs> what, did you, oh, what did you get? What did you get? I got a three, so ten. You're a monk. What? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Ever since, like the past three rolls, have just it's just gone downhill, mate. Right. Uh, this was like I'm what your character's rolling. designed to do. So, <laughs> from the backward swan dive, it's what you. Oh shit! And you turn round to grab onto the to the the rope again, and then you go, fuck! You turn round, boom! Straight into the straight into the rope with the net. The Belgrim, uh, you take. Let's just say two points of bludgeoning damage, as do yourself, Rachel. I'm under attack! Uh, from <laughs> as you start to fly away people from the net. <laughs> um, you're currently falling. We'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> so, Jim? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Look at Lee. Look at Lee's face. <laughs> oh, no. If I lose a new character this quickly, then holy mm-hmm. shit. Like, Ralph, yeah, now, uh, Ralph has no interest in this first time. He's fine. This yeah, is he doesn't not the care. first time I would, uh, I've, I've played in a session where a character has lost two car- character, a person has lost two characters in two sessions. In fact, the record is three. So, <laughs> that's <laughs> by me. I two, of them characters, two of them characters were in the same fucking session. Yep. However, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so you're currently falling. Uh, Jim. How how far away are clothes on my two Rachel's character when she's falling? You're nowhere near. You're oh, nowhere okay. near. I, that, <laughs> um, I was wondering if I can yeah, oh, see it though. That's, that's she's, what I'm she's currently falling 40 feet from where you are. It is not oh, happening. Okay. Right. So, yeah. so yeah. you're like pointing at the I keep on swinging and trying. I have to try and grab the underbelly of that spider. Sorry. Perfect. Give me an acrobatics check, mate. Beast. Yeah, you get to you get to the edge of where the the runners kind of stop, and it's boom, and it stops silent. Um, from there, usually your the cage is pulled up by rope, mm. but the rope is not taut; it is currently loose. Mm. However, you can try and do what Rach did and squeeze yourself out and try and climb up the rope. However, again, it's not taut; it's quite loose. All right. Do not, do not get to the to the beast. No. Uh, you no, know, you're you're at the back of the beast. So where you were, you were on the underbelly. You're now uh, at the back of where the cages were held, and then they get pulled up. This is where they put people in cages and then drop them below. Right, okay, I'm I'm going to try and get up then. Okay, no problem. Um, so that was your action. We'll call it a bonus action to get yourself out. Why not? Uh, um, it's because it's not going well for the group. So, <laughs> uh, another acrobatics check. It's quite a high target number though because Rach managed to get really good. Yeah. So, well, if she can do it, boom! Ah, fuck! As you bang your shoulder off and go, no, I didn't work. Okay, I'm maybe a little bit white shoulder to you. You're, you're not as felt as the. the I think we're track record. Yeah. Um, you can certainly give it a go again, but it's it might take a. You might need to do athletics for this or strength saving throw to try and squeeze your way in. So, yeah, in fact, we'll do that next time. It's going to be, str- yeah. it'll be a strength saving throw to get yourself out. Um, I'm free falling, mate. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're not in the worst situation right now. <laughs> uh, we will, from Jim, we will go to the three cream. So, Ralph, uh, so Janice, you feel your arms being put behind you 
and you're starting to seem as if it's uh, you're getting you're getting tied up. Uh, it looks as if there are there's a couple of three queen behind you starting to basically tie up and get you ready to get to get you moving. Uh, so blah blah blah. Uh, you will not notice this, Leon. Uh, neither will Belgrim because your perception checks have been horrible. Okay. Uh, right. What is your on... Rich? What is your AC? Uh, seventeen. You better hope a hat. Boom, first net hits you. The net gets fired again. Bang, grabs you. Uh, you are currently oh, restrained. Oh, yeah. fuck's sake. <laughs> You're alive. You're lucky. Uh, and Not we will, again. We will do... Actually, we'll do Sally as well. Uh, Daphne, for purposes of this. Because I've still got one net to fire. Uh, no, <laughs> I've just hit Sofa. Where she will have to make a saving throw. Try and get herself right. Uh, strength saving throw. Yeah, so she grabs, she grabs back onto the ropes, uh, two-handed, and starts to get herself into the, the kind of cur crawling position as she starts to work her way up. Uh, that, oh, I don't want to do any more than that, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Too many screens. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Too many screens, too many things to keep track of. Melgram, does a 20 hit you? Yes. Roll a constitution saving throw. You will have advantage on this. Oh, you actually fail. So, mm. as you feel a thump straight into the side of your cheek, it's a tiny prick, but then all of a sudden you're, oh, and you can't move. Just as you're about to get your rapier out, you just cannot move. You're paralysed. Oh, my God. So, right. <laughs> you, you, you know what? No, I'm not feeling sorry for you, fuckers. This this was not meant to happen. So <laughs> you got yeah. things to start firing harpoons at is in a scary place. <laughs> that's that's you true. No right. instincts are going to be. I fine. didn't. To be fair, I know why you did it. Yes, Nim's body was desecrated. I get that. I totally get that. I didn't so expect you to hang around. Attacked by random people under the. Couches. I was ready for a. I was ready for a chase sequence. <laughs> Turns out he's he's didn't want that. He's he's wanted, wanted <laughs> vengeance for your fallen, which is understandable. <laughs> I regret nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it Mel, was Mel, Mel was the single team of this day. Yeah. Your hands made you back. I regret nothing. <laughs> if I was going to say if we'd had a chase scene, they two would have been left captured and would just get away and they'd be like, yeah. right, you got it for you too. <laughs> that would be funny if we just had them in one session and then we don't see them for four weeks. <laughs> but why didn't you save us? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Jesus. that turn goes to Melgrim. Uh, unless there's anything you can do verbally or anything like that, you you lose your actions. I was gonna say, oh, it may no, it may just be that's why I got advantage. Um, or the worst yeah, uh, you, you have a, yeah, yes, <coughs> yeah, you have advantage on this. Ah, it's right. technically not a poison. That's why I give you advantage. Ah, right. uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> got to see what I can do. Um, in fact, <coughs> sorry for the coffin. <coughs> yes, okay. Um, I love it. He's thinking. He's thinking hard. Um, <coughs> would second wind help at all? Second wind will give you back your. Uh, <coughs> will give you extra actions. Uh, well, no, second wind would give you your hit points back. Mm -hmm. hmm. Basically, taking a breather and going, right, okay. I'm seeing my stuff that I've got to see if there is anything. It's just in case uh, you type of character, yeah, you have some bullshittery that uh, will Aye, it's on that I might not have realised I have them. Um... No, I am. Um... I will do Second Wind, because he will be just doing that as a... Yeah. He's been moving constantly. 
And you're just sitting there like, right, what can I do here? <laughs> Not a problem. Okay. Uh, from here, we go to Lee. Lee's currently <clears throat> paralyzed and restrained. Uh, <laughs> we go to the possible hero of the hour, Leon. Top of the round, mate. That's... It's falling Sorry. apart. Sorry, um, um, you're right. I'm going to step back. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, <clears throat> Rachel's uh, character um, has been now uh, saved by the the the, um, the net. But can I jump onto the net? How far away is it from me? Well, you've got a choice. Um, Melgrim's is Melgrim's net is currently swinging wildly. Uh, the one that Rach is in, because uh, you currently don't know her name, uh, is pretty straight. It's pretty straight. It's pretty taut. I would say it's maybe about ten feet away. You could probably jump onto the rope. She's hanging below what you're what you're climbing up. So your rope's coming up here. She's hanging about down here. Thank God Sally isn't here, actually. She'd be absolutely pissing herself with all this, this hand <laughs> there. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if I can get to Melgrim's uh, and try to save him, uh, I'll mm. do that. Uh, yes, but, you can do right. a fl- an athletics. Uh, do you want athletics or acrobatics to try and jump to it now? Uh, definitely acrobatics. Melgrim's is a harder target number because he's now swinging wildly from the hit per, uh, the, uh, when Rach hit the Hit the net, basically. Okay. However, I, I'm sorry, uh, Rachel. I don't know your character yet. I'm sure I will love her, but I, I don't know. I don't know them yet. No, that's I'm just completely fine. Her. Yeah. Um. Hi. Okay. She's just I'm a person. Help. Yeah. To you. Uh, or so, I, I'm I'm gonna um try and maybe just kind of swing towards Bert Melgram um and gonna try and get there. So that's all eleven, and I might try to use my. I would suggest again. you do. I would suggest you do. Yep. 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 Okay. So that's two. Uh, it's a great idea, as you you jump as Melgram is swinging towards you, not realizing. Bang, you hit. That's another two points of da- bludgeoning and damage to each uh, Leon, uh, sorry, Gaz and Melgrim. I'm here to save you. Gaz, you're now currently free. <laughs> oh my god, Leon, we've just traded the faces. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to that. So, um, for purposes of brevity and keeping the group alive, just a little bit longer. We'll say that uh, a couple of nets fire at you. The first one misses Leon. The second one, dead on hits. Bang. Boom. From there, uh, you're now restrained. You're pelted as is, um, as is Rach with the darts. Boom, boom, boom. We'll say you're now paralysed. Jim, you managed to climb up. And you go, ha! And you're surrounded by three green holding spears. It's oh. up to you. You want to continue this fight? You certainly can. However, yes. you're surrounded. Right. You, are not, you are not you are not Vanon at this point. Vanon was mad. I'm gonna go out, um <laughs> like, gonna ah, find, gonna go find sorry point twice his point and go wow oh, they're a bit sharp and gonna have to sort of go on the Fair play. They take you, they'll restrain you, they'll not paralyze you at this point. Mm-hmm. So an hour passes. Um at this point you get a you are now led away into cages. Some of you are hanging mm-hmm. on the bull the underbelly because there's not a lot of cages. There's quite a few of these now. Some of these are restrained on top of the mm-hmm. on top of one of these uh spiders. You now realise uh, those who didn't know. Yeah, these are spiders in Iron Oak armour. Um, and quite well made Iron Oak armour. This is incredible. Mm-hmm. No, but you know yourself, there's only very few creatures in this world that can shape Iron Oak armour. Uh, or uh, the Iron Oak wood is something that cannot be, again, for purposes of people watching. Th- these these trees are very hard to work, uh, even for the magical means. 
yeah, even through magical means. The druids are rare. And but this, only these few. spiders, and for the looks of the three queen, are holding <laughs> iron oak weapons. It's weird. It's strange. It shouldn't be happening. Are we all in, in individual cages, or are we all together? Um, yes. Uh, we'll say likes of uh, Rach is in a cage again, as is... Damn uh, it. Actually, Jim, you're not in a cage. You've been... You surrendered. You're on top. You're restrained uh, quite quite well as well. Uh, you're, it's, it, would, it would take quite a bit to get out. <clears throat> um, we'll say Ralph and Sir Janice... Uh, yous are restrained. Yous aren't in cages. Leon, uh, Gaz, you are. As is Daphne. As is um, Melgrim. So you're you're on two different vehicles. You're. In fact, mm. there's two different vehicles. Yes, you're all in cages. Boom. Are we? In cages are we all there for you? When you say restrained, is it our our hands or our mouths like? Uh, your hands are now restrained, as is your legs, and you're now in cages. I've because I forgot there's two vehicles there, so you're there's an there's enough. There's only there's four cages to each vehicle. Uh, vehicle, so there's enough of you there. Uh, so yeah, so you're on separate bits basically. Uh, and from there, where we drop out of combat, where you're coming across. So uh, at this point, free to RP, free to come up with plans, do what you think. As you say, and I will get to the next story points. I will right away try and uh, figure out a way to get out of my bindings in my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Nihilus just oh, well. gonna start singing an elvish uh, a song. Who's in the same spider as Melgrim? We'll get to that. Uh, okay, so what is everybody else doing? So you're going to find out, Welgrim, we'll come back to you last because you've you've clearly got an idea. Uh, so Leon, you're trying to get out your restraints. Nihilus uh, uh, is clearly thinking uh, of her name and going, yeah, well, we're fucked. As you start singing in Elvish, we'll get back to you on that as well. Uh, <laughs> Sir Janice, what are you doing at this point? Um Everyone who is paralysed will still be paralysed at this point. So, but can kind of move our heads, and or are we like just like? Uh, yeah, it's starting to wear off, so to speak. Uh, you're so you're you're quite numb. Uh, there's bits of you're able to speak now, but you're feeling the warmth of the the agent uh, starting to wear off. Guys, it's the only thing I'm going to do for now. I'm just going to turn around and um, stare towards this thing and go, that's my job. Uh, yeah, actually, speaking of that, Nellis, could you make me a performance check just to see how good a singer you are? Just for... Boy. Just in gigs. Hmm. Where to God, if you do it amazingly, I'm going to be raging. I got a 16. <laughs> it's got a 16. Very good. She, uh, she can hold a good. tune. And for a human uh, to sing in <laughs> Elvish, it's, it's not perfect Elvish. It's a yeah. good tune. Um, competition. Yeah. Um. It's it basically the is it's basically the same words over and over again. It's it's very it's like two or three words and it's just over and over again in a kind of melodic tune. Uh, it's you recognize it's supposed it. to be a traditional well, Elvish I, actually, song, but you, it 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 obviously isn't. Yes. Can you who actually speaks Elvish? Speak uh, saying that. Right. So Ralph, Jim, you've heard the song that. before. Yeah, you. I'm assuming you've sung this before, uh, and you're you're two days trapped, uh, Nellis. Nyla. Nyla, sorry. Nylas. Nyla. No, Nyla. just Nyla. Nyla. <laughs> Nyla. So, uh, yeah. So Nyla, I'm assuming you've sang this song before while you've been captured. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if uh, Jim does speak Elvish, am I right, Ronan? Yeah. So I'm just gonna double check. Cool. Yep. The... Yeah. Yeah. So you've you've heard the song before. You. Yeah. you it's, uh, it's not new. You. It's. Uh... I probably heard it while I was there. Heard Would the I distance. recognize it as an old Elvish song or a new Elvish song? Now I need to make up an Elvish song. Uh, <laughs> it's Rachel, old. Make me a history check. <laughs> yeah. It is supposed to be an old one, but. Yeah. Would we? I've not done anything for ages. Let me do something. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Nope, never mind. Um, well, this is, like, this just is brand new. Song. You, yeah, you from from your readings back in your back from your home when you were reading through all these books and stuff. Um, 
Never heard of it. It's, it's not something that really teaches lullabies, uh, but it does sound like a lullaby. It's basically it's, it's just sleep sound, sleep well, and it's just over and over again that same phrase. Is it soft kitty. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's soft not like that. It's, spider um, warm it's, spider. So it'll again. This is where my improv comes in because I'm having to come up with a fucking Elvis lullaby. So it's <laughs> sleep sound, sleep well. It's do 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 do, and then it's a change of cadence and. Uh, pronunciation and it gets a wee bit higher and then it goes down to a lower pitch and then it's just, it's almost like it, it teaches and trains actually you didn't get enough in the history so we'll say no. that you, you don't know it's, but it's, it, it's, it sounds like it's it's teaching and learning the kind of different cadences vocal pitches and I shout over to her, uh, do you know the hunter in the moonlight uh, but I say it in Elvish Will you stop I, making my songs up? Elvish. Oh, um, I think I know that one, but um, kind of in the mood for this one at the moment. I can mm. sing it to you later if you really want. Well, it would be nice to hear one that I know. Okay, I and then she switches just songs. <laughs> yeah, you want to make me a performance check again, Rich? <laughs> I can't hear the song. It's only 13 water. this time. Um, it's pretty good. Not she, as good. Yeah, she, it's not as good. Um, again, the the hunter in the moonlight is is predominantly known as a song for sailing. Uh, it's basically Hunting in the moonlight. <laughs> anyone who speaks Elvish again, yeah. Uh, does anybody <laughs> speak Elvish again? Sorry, I know Ralph does. I know Ronan yes. does. Melgram, do you speak Elvish? Nope. Does uh, De Grande? Roger specifically said Elvish. Uh, make me, make make me a history. Just make me a history check because songs and this kind of thing you probably know. Um. Uh. Yeah. Again. Uh. The hunt in the moonlight. It's uh. It's uh, considering what uh, what the song's about. It's 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 quite melodic. You've never heard um it sung melodically because this is usually a. A tale of woe about the the hunter that goes out sailing, goes to look for uh, a a mythical fish. From there, they go out hunting, and only seems to come out in one of the moonlights when one of the moons is at full, and you can see recognize it by its be- beautiful pearl scales. They say fish, as in fish. Per, uh, fish for this is isn't technically fish. It's kind of like a serpent, but. It's, uh, they call it fish for, for purposes of the land of homebrew, especially because we're within trees. And it talks about the tale of uh, this this uh, fisherman goes out, goes hunting for it, goes out in moonlight and is ambushed uh, by other creatures. And, uh, and at the end of the song, as it comes to its fir- to its thrilling climatic finale, telling us you should always be wary about looking for, th- you should always be wary of things oh, I'm trying to think of the, the parable now see you getting me making stuff on the spot you should always be waiting she could have just literally went no <laughs> that would have been yeah. the end of it <laughs> yeah yeah you could, you could have went no what you, did. you should always be wary of those of the thing in front of you because if you keep your eye on the prize you never you'll miss what's around you it's a very haunting tale of the fact of no matter how good you think you are the destination is not the prize it's the journey is that well, my character has a different meaning for that. Yeah, yeah. Now I need to write this down. Nah. This is what happens when you leave me with nothing to do for forty minutes. <laughs> oh, nice that's what's my fault. Is it? We've just got we to do have, have a lot of people. Strong, guys. You've, you've, you've literally uh, just yeah, you're you're helping create the world is great. And now I need to fucking do. A song. No, Jim, uh, let's go and write a song well, in Elvish. <laughs> no, it's right. Too late. <laughs> I can't sing, so oh, no, uh, I'll I would. Do you know what? Whenever I hear Elvis, if I tried to sing it, yeah, guys, we're, we're, doing, we're doing a lot like of kind of behind the scenes stuff now, which maybe isn't that interesting for people to watch. This is us just yeah. talking about how we make D and D. Let's go back. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm going to shout over to uh, Rachel's character. Uh, my name is Cremano Folara Grilaka Ralph. But you can call me Ralph. Uh, what brings hey, Ralph. you to this hellhole of a place? Well, I'm Nyla, and I may have got captured. You may have, yeah. Was it I, was escaping, I was escaping from somewhere and got caught. 
Uh, have you had a chance to count how many of flo- I'm saying this all in Elvish, by the way, as I'm going back mm. and forward. Um, have you had a chance to count how many of those little bug people are? What I have? Make me a wisdom check, just to see if you remember. <laughs> oh, I probably didn't. Uh, seven. I didn't do shit. You know, there's more than four. Uh, am I it's nearby to Jim's oh, Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll say for this, um, Nyla and Ronan, it'll be Ralph and DeGrande. The other one will be Melgrim, Daphne, and Gaz. Right, uh, Jim, did you understand the Elf I was speaking there? Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. So, yeah, I'll look at you as I say that as well, and I'll do the introduction again. My, I thought I was up there as below. No, no, yeah. We're all it, in cages, James. You're all, you're all in cages now, yeah. It's, it worked so, out. I forgot the there was a second spider. Year, so. Uh, <laughs> second yeah. question, so the question is, did you get to see how many uh, of those little bugs? Did you see how many little bug people were on this boat? Spider boat. How many did I see like, when I jumped up? Uh, you've seen six. I, I said that's a... I held about six up there. I tried to get up and I tried to, you know... Once you get up there, just throw them over the board and help you guys out, but... Uh, it didn't happen, but there was about at least six up there. At least you done something. I I was taken out pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, might I ask how long you two have been here? Good question. Uh, Jim, you've been here at least two or three weeks. Well, Nyla, I can... you, this is only your second day here. I've only been here two days, so I'm lucky compared to Ronan. Hmm. Yeah, I've been here for a few weeks. I can't remember when I came most of the current time. Not a few weeks. Yeah, there's no sun down here. May uh, I ask, what brings you under the canopy? I thought it was certain death, but it turns out there is some kind of society down here. Were you sailing the an old ocean, or were you... What brought you here? What brought me under this? Well... Right. I'm looking for the thing that killed my missus. The thing that killed your missus? Yes. And you believe it is under here? Oh, it definitely is under here. Uh, Did they capture you from the ocean, or did you choose to come down here? I chose to come down. By yourself? Yes, by myself. I was actually outcast by my um, town. And I just do you know I'm coming down here to kill this thing, to get back up there to get my trust back again from my insight family. Insight check to see if he is brave or incredibly stupid. Roll an insight, roll an insight <laughs> check, and then we'll come to Jim in a minute. Oh, <laughs> you say that as if those are different I, things. I was going to say it could be both. I didn't get much, just an 11. It's hard to read. Jim, uh, you can answer that honestly, as, as honest as you want. Being honest, I'm either stupid or brave, you don't know. That was it. That is a dangerous thing you've done. We are not an in, inconsequential group of people, and we were schooled today. And you came down here yourself. Can I ask you a question? Of course. <clears throat> See if something happened to something you loved or someone you loved with all your heart, would you not want to go and and just get vengeance so you can, you know, revenge for that? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, Ralph looks back in the direction it came from. It's something you can't see anymore. Yeah. I plan on burning these people to the ground. Them, their civilization, their women, their children, their cities. What? Uh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not the children. Why? What is your children? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is your alignment, mate? <laughs> it is going to change. <laughs> is it you purposely wanted to? Change? Oh shit! I told oh, you yeah. that there's going to be some changes around. Hell yeah! Okay. Everyone's oh, got to suddenly side with Elgrim. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of you that can speak Elvish and know what I just said. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say an Elvish back. Maybe not the children. I understand everything else, but you know. 
they really I would be here, yeah, anyway. I'm I, will, I will kill the children <laughs> and they grow up, they might become very angry. So maybe you should do, if you're going to kill them, maybe all of them. We need to have a chat after this stream <laughs> uh, and privately, uh, Lee, but however. Yeah. yeah, continue. That's why you don't leave in 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Death to wall. Yeah. yeah. So you can we'll kind of understand you. where I'm coming from. Oh, I plan on helping you do the very worst we can do to these well, insects. They made it's their me. choice, and now it's I made mine. It's these insects for kidnapping us, and it's this other thick, big, gigantic beast that's crawling down here somewhere that I'm going to have its head. They stole something from me, so I want it back. Mm. Let, let's try uh, to call their hands. Hmm. Well, let's try to sort of help each other out. Yep. You've got it. Uh, Ralph holds up one hand, and it kind of glows with radiant energy because he doesn't need anything to do this. Mm -hmm. Just let me know when. And then the light fades. <laughs> got it. I can hear this entire conversation and not understand a word. They yeah. go to right, white. Oh, and I was like, what is about to happen? Yeah, you are uh, blissfully unaware. Actually, no, they'll grow they'll they'll glow uh bright red. What your hands or my hands? Mine? Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, they will. You've got, go you got magic hands, yeah. That's why I, I was actually confused there because I, 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 I don't know if magic weapons that... can do damage to Iron Oak, but I feel like maybe it could. Yeah. Yeah, I have a thing. So yeah, mine glow red. Oh, um, at this point as well, uh, we're getting early, uh, coming into early evening. You can tell because, um, well, Nyla will probably know this. Ronan's probably the only person that doesn't realise this because he hasn't seen the sun in quite a while. But it's uh, you're starting to get a little bit tired, so you realise it's maybe coming on early evening. And you, for what little light does come through, is starting to dim. Uh, I'll yeah. tell Ronan this. Because after being with him for two days, I probably know that he's not currently aware uh, of what's happening. Yeah. And also, I will send Rach a message. Oh, messages. Ooh, Ooh whispers. Oh. Electronic, oh. Whispers. Oh. Electronic whispers. Electronic oh. whispers, because we can do that. And to be Hello. fair, I'm not, having, I'm not putting my tongue in the Macam's ear. So. Uh, while you do that, then, <laughs> oh. uh, is Gaz with us? I'm, I'm there. Uh, I would... Uh, I was try uh, wanting to try and uh, get out of my binding. Yeah, that's yes. true. Um, okay, uh, give make me how are you well. How are you going to do it? How are you going to go about getting out your bindings? I had an idea of um, warming up the cage with um, green flame blades. Um, so just like part of the cage, as if. Um, it's not a, a weapon, but I was thinking of like if it was like an improvised weapon, I right. could warm that up. Right, I should have said that. Oh, a green flame! Stuff. It was green flame blade, yeah. Yeah, uh, I would have to warm it up, doing damage to myself, and then use that to try and break off the bindings. Yeah. Um, okay. So you do that. Um, green flame blade doesn't work. Um, uh, I'll just try and. What what is the bindings? Uh, is it rope or metal? Uh... It is a mixture of both. You've got rope around your hands like this, right wrapped round, and then you've got shackles on your wrists. Um. Can I uh try and cast Eldritch Blast? To see if anything will happen. Yeah, uh, uh, you go, uh, you try, but your hands are bound. Uh, you yeah. realise that to get the semantics, you know, it's still going to happen. Uh, I'll just, I don't know. I'll, I'll try and take it apart of my teeth as much as I can. That's that's all I think I can do. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so how about how are you going about uh, removing the? Uh, the restraints basically. I'm also, yes, to... Steph, don't say boob. <laughs> uh, I'm not in trouble. <laughs> it's boob. <laughs> Jesus. Um, 
whilst he's been doing all this, and Melgrim's been like ripping off about his bottoms and trying to gag himself. And then he's going to break his wrists to try and get out of this. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Sweet motherfucker. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know how I would go about this. Right, first off, make me a slight hand check. Okay. Does he have uh, to do because, really badly to break his wrist? Is that the plan? Because your I because no is to get the rope because your hands, mm-hmm. everybody's hands at this point will be wrapped in rope and your wrists will be shackled. Mm-hmm. You start to try and pull away with your hand, just trying to get into a slight bit and start to rip a bit. It's it's ripping, but it's not doing mm-hmm. much. Uh, he has got to take his time trying to do this because he's just trying to get his mouth shut somehow. Because he knows he's going yeah. to scream when he does this and he does not why I'll alert him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. That's just not a bad idea. Okay, mm-hmm. so we'll 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 come back to you on that. Um, yeah, I like to say, so at this point, you're just still going along. Uh, if you've got anything else to say, but Rach is obviously away there now. Um, how close is um, Sir Janice to me? Oh, he's disappeared as well. Sir Janice has disappeared as well. Okay. Uh, how close can that is... Um... Melgrim on the other spider. Yes, Melgrim's on the other spider, along with Leon and Daphne. Um, the cages hang about ten feet between each other. So ten feet between these. Um, I'll um, okay. I'll say to um, Nyla and sorry, Jim, I forgot your character's name. Ronan. Ronan. Uh, did they let us out at night? Did he? Uh, did they release us or come to feed us or? Um, you Nyla hasn't been fed yet, Ronan. You know this that they will feed. Uh, they they genuinely try and feed you every three days. They want to keep you alive, but they don't want to keep you enough that you're able to do stuff. Mm-hmm. So for uh, again, uh, mechanically, purposely of this, after the long you have a long rest, you uh, you'll go automatically down at half hit points and you'll have no key points or spell slots for this for purposes of being prisoner. <laughs> Too bad yeah. you aren't fighters. <laughs> yeah. Uh you will you will lose you see everything that you tag and you get you gain after a short rest and long rest, oh. you lose that as well. So basically that's what mm-hmm. it's no second wind or action surge yeah, So there'll be no action surge or second wind basically. Yeah. It's basically anything yeah. you can tag. I've not used my action surge anyway. Rich and uh, mute, I think. Well, yeah, I'm going to turn into Ralph and say... Um, Thank you. Well, yeah, we do feed us. Well, every third or fourth day, I don't really know. But they do feed us. Mm-hmm. Um, have they stopped anywhere with the other uh, platforms or villages or outposts or anything like that? Not that I remember. And as for the toilet, well, you know, downwards, so, you know. Yeah, I assume that we just shit out the side. Right. Mm. Hmm. I would assume they kept us alive, so they're taking us as slaves, would be my assumption. Or they're going to eat us. Well, they haven't ate me yet. I've been here for quite a while. That's why I think slaves is more likely. Uh, Well, nobody get me a slave yet. Hmm. But hi, they're a friendly bunch of arseholes up there, aren't they? Did they spoke to you at all? Yeah, I'm starving. Hmm. Have they spoke to you at all? No. Still... Nothing. Not me. Apart I'm still from... speaking elvish. Apart from trying to tell me to clean you guys, say... Uh... Arms down, that's about as much as they spoke to me. They just laughed at me. Mm. No. Yeah, I was hoping to use that as an excuse to try and get some help to get us freed and, you know, become good buddies like we are now. Okay, uh, so we'll Jen, be the best of friends. Okay? Mm-hmm. I've been better. Uh, uh, these things seem to speak common, so that's why I've been speaking Elvish to these two. Uh, do you speak any other languages? I'm glad you said that. I thought I, I thought that I'd lost me marbles the entire time you were talking. 
Um, I speak common um, and orc. Yeah. I don't have that one. You okay, did. We're, we're, you did have ahead. someone who could speak orc. Was it me? Oh, it was, uh, yeah, Nim it was uh, did. Nim. Nim. It was Nim. Nim. I didn't. Yep. Yeah. Never, didn't mm. spend enough time with her to te to be taught a whole language, unfortunately. I am. Uh, she would have taught you some of it I, if you'd asked her. I, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not talk. having a go at my dead friend. I'm just saying that we didn't get to that point. We don't <laughs> actually know each other for about three weeks. I have this. Wait, uh, three weeks? If only my dead friend had been a better teacher. <laughs> I never asked once, you know. You should have known um, you would need to know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Nim I mean, would have I, known. <laughs> she knew it was <laughs> not to. <laughs> she wanted us to fail. Um, so, yeah, he was just going to go back and forward with you and he'll just uh, say that he's not these things can understand common. So I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do, but if we do anything, follow suit. And All right, listen, you point me in a direction, I'll start running or I'll start punching. You just tell me which one I do. Uh, have you got any, and I'm going to like point my hand and just go like, <laughs> magic noises. Have you yeah. got any <laughs> magic noises without, uh, without being a full power? I believe you guys can do some kind of thing that messes with people, man. Nasty jokes or something. I mean... But in words. Yes, I've got a couple things I can do. Mm. I can... A couple of options of which sort of directions I can go. So it really depends on what we're trying to do at the time. But... Yeah. I think I have an idea that might cause a big bit of trouble We're looking for a big bit of noise. Yeah. Uh, do we want to wait until they're, they're going to take us somewhere that's probably heavy guarded? Do we want to try and vacate before that? No, um... I was literally about to ask a question as me while still using that voice just there. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, Lee doesn't talk that. You know, in times like this, I would usually ask, um, I would usually ask my imaginary friends to help, but now I just, I don't want them out. How far away is Gaz from us? So the, the spiders are quite away. You would need, you would need to shout over. But he's, I would maybe say 50, 60 feet. You can still hear him. Right. Oh. So it's like, in times like this. I wouldn't say he's, I wouldn't say he's shouting like that. He's, he's, he's speaking louder. I want to yeah. speak to guys in Melbourne, but I'm very aware that they're far away. So I don't yeah, know what cool. the mechanics are of me doing this. Yeah, yeah you, you, can hear, you can hear each other, and it's a little bit louder. Um, you would obviously be heard from above but yes yeah, so i figured you, yeah yeah but you're um it, it doesn't seem they don't seem to be taking notice of it now uh because they, they probably have been over here in your conversation even though it's in elvish mm. so they know you're talking and communicating uh mm -hmm. and ronan you'll notice this as well because the last time you were when you were shouting down in dwarvish and speaking to yeah. uh nyla and elvish they didn't really mind you speaking it's just what they perceived as you know either threats or planning or stuff like that. So you were speaking in a calm manner in Elvis. You seem yeah. to be okay with it. They turn around and, El and Elvis and say to Ralph, say, they don't tend to like threatening tones. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, not only that, they don't mind common either. So it's yeah. only been a few times they've came down and tried I'm to stop still, you. I'm yeah. still um, doing my, my Elvis, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Maybe if we spoke in a different language, they wouldn't like it. And then I speak in primordial and ask them how they're doing. Anyone speak primordial? No. no. <laughs> I picked normal languages that would be useful. I, I picked languages that would be make more sense for my character to actually know. So I didn't pick elves because elves are rare. <laughs> Well, my rare. character, there's a reason why she. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> they turn to the common and basically say, well, see, as long as you don't threaten them, they're not, they, don't, they don't bother you. So, 
we can try a can man make some form of plan and you know these guys won't hopefully bother us. Um, but now I down, down to you, I saw your friend, the dwarf. I was shouting in dwarf so that they wouldn't tell hear me tell them to try and help free me. But yeah. Melter make, like make me a stealth check. Okay. He's doing this just so that you are aware. I've got two um two spells that could potentially cause a big bit of issue for the spiders that we're on. I've got clouded mm. daggers and I've got shatter, which yeah. can cause like a large piercing noise for them. So if we wanted to mess this thing up and make it go wild, I could do so. Depend on whether like you're you a... saying whether we want to do that before. This is the point where I will ask you: Have they stripped us of all our stuff, including our yes. paraphernalia? So if yeah. they need any components, then I'm going to assume yeah. that we can't do that. Yeah. Well, luckily enough, I can do verbal for both of those. Oh, nice. The yeah. only one, um, the only other one that I would need specifically a motion for is thunderclap, which is somatic. But no, those two have to do vicious mockery. Thunderclap may work here. Badly, but it may work. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know when like, I'll say it's a good option. I said it's an option. Because the way I and will study back from this. It technically works. It technically works. It though. doesn't crack from this, so you're just going to hurt the spider and maybe make it fall. Um, yeah. um, <laughs> Which will help me. <laughs> I'm going to um, touch a piece of the wood and I'm going to call a radiant flame into man, but like as weakly as I possibly can. And I'm mm -hmm. just going to like touch the wood and see if it burns up. Uh no, it does. Uh, it does singe and blacken it, but it doesn't see. You wipe the. You you're able to wipe wipe the the black patch away. Um. Actually, you've seen. Oh yeah, you actually you came across that um that elven mm -hmm. salesman, didn't you? Yeah, this is Iron Oak. Right. Um. From my knowledge, my limited knowledge of Iron Oak, do I know if it is resistant to radiant magic or all types of magic? Like, mm. could we break this? I know it's hard mm. to deal with for yeah. normies, but yeah. we are superhumans. So make uh, me an arcana check or a survival check. I will use survival because I'm better at that. You could maybe make a history because you have explained it um, before. Yeah, Melgrim, you uh, you, managed, you managed to start tearing uh, in rhythm to the basically the spider walking. So you're. You start ripping bits of the material just to let you know that that's what mm -hmm. that was for. Uh, yeah, twenty-five. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because this is the vival check. Um, going through the the normal things, you know, says there's only certain creatures who can work the wood and all that, and blah blah blah. Says, but the thing is, folk do work the wood, and it is through magical means. Mm -hmm. Whatever those magical means are. Uh, twenty-five is really good though. Mm. It'd have been better oh, if it was a camera, basically. Um, but you do know, yeah, that is, uh, there is, it is susceptible to 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 some things. So whatever creatures uh, manage to work the wood, will have. You you can theorize it. It might be a possible. It might be a specific school. It might be something you just can't put your finger on it. But nine times out of ten, any damage you do to it is usually, it's just it's really hard to break through unless it's smaller bits of iron oak but this is full iron oak cage it would be something that damage won't be able to do to it but if you were to have the type of magic spell or magic to work it mm. it'd be a different story shatter seems like the most likely thing um so just because of the kind of nature of how shatter works um i'm tempted just to start shooting at trees just like does this do any damage <laughs> And see what happens, but I also so, don't want to give the game away that I can do things. So I'm like, yeah. Eh. Well, remember your hands, uh, like everybody else's, are wrapped in rope and you're shackled. So, uh, which I should have mentioned when you done the light <laughs> thing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, um, <laughs> so a couple hours pass, um, mm -hmm. and then it starts to get a little bit darker, and then you are met with the best is a. Probably one of the most amazing sights you've ever seen in your life. So as you st so as the spiders start coming down and it's very very dark now, there's 
few lights. The, any light sources are coming up from on top of the spider's armor. Uh, it switches pretty, pretty normal. They wouldn't have lights down below, but from below you, is, you see this light, and then you see another couple of lights, and then they start to come up, start to rise towards you as you're almost surrounded in almost a sea of these lights. It's very neon blue, neon green, neon pinks as they start to just rise up from from what you would see just below the canopy floor as it starts to rise up. And it starts to give you that kind of very greeny, bluey, pinkish hue on everything. And it just makes the world, it just makes the below the, the canopy just seem a little bit more unearthly, but in a more comfortable light. It's almost, it's, it's almost like, of all the things you've seen down here, and all of, it, and of all your travels, you've recently been travelling, and all the things you've all seen, even including Ronan and uh, Nyla at this point, this is, uh, this is a quite a comfortable rest bit from danger, from everything that's happened, from even current deaths. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's almost, it would almost fill in through the soul if it wasn't for the fact of the situation you're in. And as these, and as these lights start to come up, if I make a perception check, if you want to, if you want to see. <clears throat> I'll tell you one thing. Richard has not actually to roll anything that's not been like some form of high roll for me in general. I rolled my first natural twenty on my dice. Mm -hmm. nice. Sorry, Scott. No, no. I was going to say it's like as in tell you like the constitution should check that he asked for that was like at advantage. I yeah. also had that as my highest saving throw. Like, I've been rolling awfully tonight. Yeah, yeah it was, uh, it was, at least my perception was okay. Yeah. And you got an at 24 total of? 23. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Ronan, you don't take particularly too notice. You've been down here before. You've seen this maybe once or twice before. You've been down here up to almost a month, so it doesn't really take your take your interest. Everyone else though, this is glorious. This is there's nothing you've ever seen. And as the lights start to come out, they're, they're not exactly lights. They're almost two foot by two diameter fluff balls for probably the best interest. It's just as they start to come up and all it just kind of bounce almost like helium balloons just against everything. Some of them stick to the, the spider. Some of them stick to the cage, or they try to stick to the cage as they bounce away, and you can see little sparks of energy and lights and magic just forming around, which is giving them off these neon colours of different things. Um, do, 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 Gaz, uh, Melgrom, and Ralph, could you, if you want to know more, if you've, uh, you can certainly give us a history check if you would like. But they're basically, they're basically like Dust bunnies, dust balls. Uh, has to check, you said, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, cool. Especially because you're a reader. Uh, 13. Right. Um, it's not, it's, uh, Melgrim, anything you need to know about being below here is going to be something that kills you. You've never seen or read anything about this. I'm so assuming that this know. thing's trying to like eat us with magic or yeah, something. Yeah, it's not even <laughs> that. You know, if you it's haven't like read about it, it's, man. <laughs> if you haven't read about it, it's probably safe. So you don't need to worry about it. Uh, thought, uh, maybe this you've not read be... a lot. Of, yeah, you've not okay, read a lot. I about, think it's safe. Uh, the... I've got to try and reach out and pet one of them. Yeah, mm. we'll get to that in a minute. Um, Lee, you wouldn't. You've not read much uh, below the canopy. A lot of your books has been above the canopy because it's not worth really travelling. Gaz, however, as you're uh, you're looking along, you feel uh, you feel a familiar voice in the back of your head as it comes. Oh my god. I remember oh. this. This was quite a soothing moment out of my recalls. It was, was... wonderful. It was it was a time I actually felt like life was a was actually worth living. Hmm. Isn't it's funny that it's, it's these kind of things I miss. And um, the voice starts to breathe. Says, 
I can't actually remember the name for them, or if the fact they had any names for that matter, but they're, they're interesting. It's one of the n few beauties and one of the few things I actually enjoyed about being below the canopy. Isn't this something that Mom spoke about before I left? She spoke about things in the canopy that were horrifying and dangerous, but also beautiful. Oh, gods, no. I'm pretty sure your mother never met anything like this. However, <laughs> almost makes you feel human, doesn't it? I mean, it's not an unusual feeling, feeling for me. <laughs> and there's no reply after that. Melgrim, you touch one. Your finger goes numb. However, it's um, it kind of sticks to you a little bit. It's almost like um, almost like an electrical charge. Just kind of feels the magnet, uh, the mag uh, the magnetizing from it, and it's just yeah, it's almost a little bit. And it's a case of you go. Hmm. I'm going to try and rub my shackles against it to see if it will like stay anything to it since it's using. As soon as you put the metal towards it, it just floats, floats wow. off. Um, but these, these, um, these give you a kind of respite of uh, really nice light and really it kind of makes you think. As is, um, as what uh, Gaz patron said that though you would never hear it, it says it kind of, kind of serves the soul and really like, makes you feel a little bit better, knowing that well, it's maybe not all bad down here, considering the fact the situation you're in. Leave your eyes of ten million glowing lights. Do creatures eat these? Are these like uh, jellyfish that don't get eaten, or are these like, um, are are, are these like? Uh, Is this a made? GM question? Yeah. Um. Uh, um explain explain the biology of these creatures, yeah. please. Again, okay, that's just cool. Um, <laughs> from the perception checks that you've got, it says, yeah, like I say, these are two, two foot, basically two foot spheres of diameter, a lot, a lot of, it's almost like fur, it's almost like dust, it's almost, it's almost like hair. Um, again, very, very light to the touch, as Melgrim will know. Um, it's almost like helium balloons. And with all the magic that comes around within them, is giving off the neon mm -hmm. lights. I know it's uh, they not, but it's just giving yeah. me dead light vibes. <laughs> yeah, they don't seem to. They, they don't. It doesn't seem to be threatening, and doesn't seem to be doing anything in particular, or have any use from what you can tell. Again, there's not anything written, and as your uh, patron said, guys, I said there's not. There's there's not a name for it because nine times out of ten, anyone comes down here is killed, and anyone that does live down here probably have their own name for it. So this is technically a nameless creature. You're not even sure it is a creature. And you don't even know what it's what it came from or anything about the habits about it, but it's just, it just is, and from that moment of that realization, it just is. It seems to be a very complicated ecosystem down here, and it's the ones that you just surely can't comprehend. And he just again just goes to prove that it's not everything is totally bad down here. See, if I've been down here before, would I know what the place is and what these wee things are? Again, no. Um, yeah. you've you've came across them a couple of times, and it, you know them as rest, but you know them as lights. Lights aren't a bad thing, especially down here. Yeah. I'll shout over to the guys. Hey, I don't think these things have a name. What do you want to call them, then? Can I can I call them something? Yes. What? For it. <laughs> flip flumps. I like flip flumps is actually pretty good. But uh, I don't like puff balls or puff lights or or meeps. Meeps oh is God. also oh, meeps. pretty good. Don't hey, don't do meep. that to me. Meeps. Hey, meep. <laughs> well, we I quite there. like these things. Is there one near me? Can I check? I like I, no, I can't because my hands are bound. I keep forgetting my hands are bound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have claws. What is what are what exactly is binding my hands? It's rope. It's right, so... uh, rope tied tight round your hands like that. So Maybe. even though you've got claws, your your fingers are probably intertwined. I'll be like that. Right, I could start claws. if I could like maybe start worrying away like kind of like giving it this kind of action, just yes. like digging in. 
is the same silk. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, Steph. Yeah, well, let's call them meeps. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're called flimflumps. No, there's a reason. There's a reason why David brought up meeps. To be fair, because uh, my little girls uh, <laughs> because have I'm a meep, imaginary meep, friends. Because my little girls have imaginary meep, friends called meeps, and they play with meeps all the time. So it looks oh. like they're meeps. Ah, uh, so, it has okay. to be called meeps. Yes, I'll call them. I meeps. think we should kill all these and then show them any children we find. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm saying my new evil outlook. I'm like, no, I'm on you. <laughs> Can we? Meeps. Like, that's adorable. Yeah. These things okay. are dangerous, right? Call them both. Right, I mean, um, there is no effect. Melgrim, you don't like kind of like look. I'm going to shout. I'm just going to shout to the uh, who's shouting. I don't know yeah. what to gather. I'm going to just don't eat them. I he just... says you've to eat them. Okay, I'll eat them. What are we eating? Uh, I'll come. We're going to eat the meeps. No, I showed that you. You're right beside me. We're going to eat the uh, meeps. I'll come uh, and eat guys. Uh, and <laughs> If I'm in range of eating one, I'll try and eat one. It's it's Knock quite hard to, to catch. One. Like to say, as soon as you put your hands out mm. towards them, they seem to just uh, just float away. Um, mm. Again, from um, <laughs> Melgram will know this. Uh, it's, they seem to react to the metal. The metal seems to push them away. Mm. And because you are, you're these sort of bad decisions hand, are why yeah, we got I, captured in the first place. I, I kind of have an idea. idea. Um, I don't know if you guys will like it. Um, I think of like, oh, that's a lovely creature down here. I'd really hate for a bad one to turn up. And I think, oh wait, I'm going to turn and be like, if a huh. bad one turned up, maybe that'd be a good thing. And I'm gonna try and like. I was actually having the exact same thought earlier on. Is yeah. like, I can, like, get some down, wildlife to attack. I think try and bite down on my hand till like mm -hmm. blood comes out, and okay. I'm just gonna like wave the blood. Uh, mm -hmm. In, in front of me on 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 the cage okay, a little bit. Hardcore. Um, yes. yeah. I, I'm going to go like turn around a Gaz and then Daphne and the two ones closest, and it's like, well, at least we at least we have a pretty sight before. Okay. We're gone. Um, yeah, uh, Gaz. Give make me a give me a straight. Unarmed attack roll against your AC. <laughs> okay. Um, unarmed attack. Disadvantage in the just... round. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> it's a 10. Does a 10 hit? Uh, me? Yeah. No, but I am just, I am a stranger. Yeah, yeah, yes. Down, however, but... however, it's a case of. Uh, you bite down and it's so sore you you instantly pull back and go ah oh, right, right right okay okay I'm gonna try and again. you try again and uh, <laughs> yeah you can certainly try again you've got two attacks so think a level five for because you're a, not, not a um, warlock doesn't he's got more he's got more eldritch blast yeah. uh, we'll say that's your last time yeah you're you're trying to do it but the pain is just unbearable I mean the amount of times you've cut yourself for blood that's in the heat of the moment and it's just your finger you're trying to get enough blood to attract something so you know how much blood you need and you're going no it's not working you're you, you're you are biting yourself you just can't bring yourself to draw the blood you need what are you doing guys a minute ago melgrim was breaking his wrists with slight hand checks oh. <laughs> yeah no no he didn't break his wrists he was doing the slight hand check to see if he could get to a point oh. where he could rip the stealth role was to make sure he could mm -hmm. rip it quietly which mm -hmm. he has done mm -hmm. uh and from here yeah. what are you doing I'm trying to draw blood to try and see if I can get a larger creature to come here. Why and... would we want that? Well, if the creature comes here and it starts fighting this big spider thing, that would be a good distraction, cool. right? Yeah, I think the okay. rule is called there is always a bigger fish. Cool. Uh, I'm going to like wrap my mouth shut with a cloth that I got, <laughs> and then I'm just going to keep but a fucking bit of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I, even to break the nose, like just basically smash the nose in. Yeah. The, uh, the bar. <laughs> do we do we see that from oh, the yeah. the other the other fighter? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, if you're brush. looking, all those in the other spider, which would be Sir Janice, Ronan, Nyla, and uh, Ralph. If you want to have a try and look to see what's happening, please make a perception check. <laughs> you see us going insane. Gaz is trying to get Malcolm is yeah, head on the wall. We've already went insane. Okay, okay. so nose, you have what you've done, done is... Yeah, so you're going for your nose to break it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
make me an unarmed attack. Okay. <laughs> Do blood <laughs> damage, okay? Yeah. Bang! Is... Yeah. You hit, blood starts gushing. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, however, it's been soaked up by your beard and moustache. Moustache. <laughs> it's starting, to, it's starting to drip the blood is everywhere i'll just start that like wiping it on everything with a beard and that just going <laughs> okay. uh, I got a work, work, guys. Doing. actually that isn't that isn't the worst idea considering that well because of uh because of melgrom yeah that is not a bad idea mm -hmm. something about your blood however Right, so blood starts to drip. Uh, you can keep going if you want to get more. Aye. I, I, I okay. see them doing this, and um, Ralph is going to do something. He's going to like bite with his, his bite with his turtle beak thing, straight into whatever part of his arm he can bite into, uh, and do the same thing. Okay, give me a maybe an unarmed strike then. Yeah, you you hit your shell again. You break the nose, but it stops the blood flow. So it's. Oh, yeah, I'm going to turn on to Ralph, and what are you doing? Uh, with my mouth full. Um, I'll, I'll come back to that. Uh, I'll see him in Elvish. If we can attract some creatures, then they're going to have to stop and deal with that. And that perhaps will thin their numbers, or perhaps they will drop us as bait to get rid of the creatures. But either no. way, I, wanna, I would rather get out of here. And yeah. if we cause them problems... That is a good idea. But I'd you don't look like there'd be much of a problem, cages. though. I'd rather be out the cages doing that. Well, you both got out before. I seen you. When I was yeah, she did. on I... the ground. You managed yeah, to it's not out. too hard. You just have to be able to oh, sort of get yeah. the right you position. I'm you know? squishy yes. for a human, but uh, I'm not going to answer that question right now. Yeah, at this point... Uh, it's getting late now. You will start to get tired. Uh, so you can take the long rest, but however, like to say, from Not here time. on in, you'll have no spell slots, you'll have no short long rest uh, feats or whatever like that, and you'll be down to half health. I crit yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you <laughs> hit a vein. I bite I fuck it, <laughs> Yeah, you hit a vein. Yeah. Oh shit! It's blood. Oh. Is, blood is everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> it's all over the cage at this weirdly, point. It it only one, weirdly, it only done one damage. Oh no, uh, three damage in total. So yeah, I'm gonna take yeah. three hit points but, off. Holy but shit! What? But what a damage! Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's some bad juju, man. Uh, this is this is Ralph's blood is green, by the way. They look like the predator's blood. Yeah, that makes sense. So from there, um, it starts to get dark. Uh, it's a time. lot darker as the lights start to, or the the meeps as we're now calling them, meep, meep. start to come down and float below the canopy, and you can't see them again. Uh, Try and throw some it, blood at one of the meeps. So <laughs> night time happens. Um, I need you all to make me a Constitution saving check. Uh, what is this in regards to? Uh, fatigue. Okay, cool. Does this affect me being able to hold my breath for an hour? Nope. Mm -hmm. uh, Melgrim, you're fine. Gaz, you're fine. Constitution. Ralph, you're tired. That 17. Makes... That... Yeah, you're fine. Uh, Ralph, yeah, that makes total sense. Uh, because you're you've lost a lot of blood. <laughs> you're now tired. No, you no, are, you will. So you flesh, have one you. point of exhaustion, basically. Ronan, you're fine. Sir Janice. You are also fine as everybody wakes up. Apart from Sir, uh, actually, apart from Sir Janice. So, as you wake up in the morning, uh, mm. Janice. Sleeping away, dreaming as normal as your grand entrance to one of the finest places in. Uh, finest places in the empires where you're going up for your stage performance going yeah your singing is great and then all of a sudden you play the final chord on your lute and everyone's just looking at you they're not clapping they're not so they're not doing anything then all of a sudden you feel this strange pain it's almost oh it's on your chest what the 
and then you look down and you're wearing no trousers. You're completely bollock naked from the waist down and everyone starts laughing. It's, oh my God. You don't know what to do. So you try and start playing more with the loot, but all of a sudden just nothing happens. And then all of a sudden the crowd rushes you. They start trampling on you, stepping on you. They're beating the hell out of you. Janice, you're now unconscious. From here on in, you're taking death rolls. What? What happened to What did I miss? The fuck? You are taking... What the fuck taking did I miss? <laughs> hmm. It is interesting enough. However... In fact... Let's hope you save him, eh? Yeah, yeah, in fact, you know what to do? I make another constitution saving roll. If I've skipped, the, I've skipped the rule, sorry. Okay. I have skipped the rule, so make another constitution saving roll. You're giving me the fear, boy. Oh, no, no. Not yeah, and quite right, too, because this, this is quite an interesting... This is, this is an interesting mechanic, and it's the first time using it, so I have skipped a bit, but make another constitution saving for... Yeah, you don't have to announce it for the chat, because oh. it's like... I okay. don't, I don't yes. update it quick. So, everybody wakes up from their slumber, apart from Janice. Janice is foaming at the mouth. He is taking, he is currently down and out. He is unconscious and he will start taking death saving throws. We need to start getting over to him. As you I'm going to shout over yeah. and go, Excuse me, are you okay? I start Who's shouting the the Hello. Hello. Uh, and calling to the people upstairs. Mm. Where would He's you shout? Uh, he's taking a reaction to your pause that you put in him. He's worth nothing to you, dead. You need to see to him now. You Just stupid little bug things. Get the fuck down here. Help, help him. That is and I'll just keep going and going and just louder and louder and louder. And I'll just keep repeating, your poison's killing him. Uh, yeah. Referring to him as like stupid bugs. Uh, he's <clears> dying. <throat> you need to save him. He's worth three nothing minutes, to you, dead. Three minutes pass. There's not a word. Who's who's it? Oh, is the closest. Yeah, Melgram's got to be kind of um, like the, the closest. The, the closest between them where right now is he is in one corner. You've got another two here, which will be Ralph and will be Nyla, and then you've got Ronan. So at this point, three minutes have passed. So I've Janice, got no healing. Could you I've make got nothing. First death, death saving throw. Oh, D twenty, man, ten or above. Just get ten on my. Yep. I'll kind of like shout yeah. at James's character, like you were talking for them. Tell them. Right, I'm gonna do that thing where we try to swing the pendulum towards him, so I can try and just get over and grab onto his cage and do a medicine check. I don't know. You could make a medicine check for here, but it would be a disadvantage. Uh, I mean, I'll look. I can try it well, but if not, I'll try and swing towards him. Yeah. Do okay. His, his, his I'm role. Really, I'm doing the same thing. Just swing towards him. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if you want to try and make a uh, acrobatics check, oh, it's that bad. He's gone. No, I can't do it. That does dying. Yeah, it does. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we can hear you. No, I can barely hear you. That was that was. Did he try to roll you? You start doing the same thing again. You start rocking to and from. Only issue being you're diagonal to him, so you're rocking back and forth towards Ralph. I'll do the same thing, yeah. Yeah, okay, if you want to do the same, uh, make an acrobatics check. What was it you were needing uh, me to? Oh, um... It's a oh, death saving um, throw. So what you do on your character 12. is you, you take yourself down to zero hit points and then you'll come up to death saves and then you just roll a d20 mm -hmm. and add your constitution saving mod uh, your constitution you modifier. And you, you want to get over above. 10. What kind DM he is because that is not the rules. Yeah, you don't add your modifier <laughs> normally. Yeah, yeah, we found this out last time after we checked. This is, uh, <laughs> yeah, this, no, no, this is... That's uh, fine, that's very kind of you. It like this, so. It's actually good for Melgrim, because Melgrim is like a plus seven at his, so yeah, he's like unkillable. It also gives you a point in having... It makes sense. Two, so that's quite good. It does, it does make sense. I mean, your con your constitution, you're a little bit hardier, so you and would be able to... your health as well, like how healthy you are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you've got, you got this. Despite Melgrim being like the alcoholic dwarf that is like hates life <laughs> and has several injuries, he's... Go a good help. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not rolling right now. How is Sir Janice de Grande doing in his rolls? 
Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I roll with my new dice that has failed me the past like six times. That's a very times. good question. <laughs> yeah. He's you try and get over the Nyla. Find Mark. What have you got for his mate? He's making a lot of faces. You've got like, you've got three like... rolls to uh, eight. Like unless you get old, if you one. if you lose three times, then well, if you get a twenty, you pop. Yeah. Back. yeah. Yeah. If you get a nat twenty, you're popped. Uh, yeah. You've so you've passed the first death saving throw. If you fail so, three, then you're out. Yeah, if okay. you fail three, you die. Uh, if you pass the three, you stabilise. Yeah. Until oh, well, someone can get to you. Okay. And if you get a 20, you're back. Mm -hmm. If you get a one, do you get minus two? Yeah, yeah. so if you get yeah. that one, you fail two. If you get that 20, you pass automatically and you're back to one hit point. So, three minutes have passed. There's no one coming. Oh, you did good there. No, I the whole time the there. I'm there. towards him. Yep. Um, you didn't know you're another spider. I thought you were the trumpet. Rach, are you? You said you were rocking back and forth to try and help. I got him. a twelve. I rolled a three. Right. Okay. Uh, no, yeah. so I you, rolled a six. You can't. You can't start rocking. You're not as. Uh, you're not as hefty as uh, Ronan is. No. But Ronan, you're kind of moving towards a wee bit closer to Ralph. So there's five feet between you now, as opposed to the ten. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. Can I? Um. Can I? So. so uh, if if I try and try and get uh to um if I try and uh try and uh, swing over to Janice uh is, is there any chance of that or you are the six, there is ah. sixty feet between the spiders mm -hmm. there's another twenty feet between you and Janice it, it wouldn't be, it that's wouldn't fine. be worth it that's fine I'm, I'm, was, I'm going to come to Daphne yeah. I'm just going to basically be like screaming going that I can not really lose another one. Do something. Who's um, the closest to, to me? Uh, to you, it would be Melgram and Daphne. You're in the you're in the middle between the two of them, uh, diagonally, side to okay, side. I'll I'll try and swing towards Melgram. Yep, you start to swing towards Melgram. Give us an acrobatics check. Yeah. Um, been an, it's been another minute, uh, oh. David. If you want to roll a second death saving throw, what? <laughs> you only need to roll I'll six. Do it. Oh, it's a constitution saving throw you rolled. Right, okay. Hmm, you only need to roll six because you got plus yeah, four, you're so you're fine. There. And saying that, no, actually, wouldn't you? Because what is your constitution? His constitution's plus four. So you only no, need to roll more than a six. Plus four. That's a different yeah. thing. Yeah. You con yeah, constitution. Aye, and it's a plus four anyway. So if you want to do off that, that's fine. Is cons 18? Yeah. Well, we're doing it for the saving throws because uh, that's you even pass, better for Melgrum. You passed your second. <laughs> You've passed your second roll. <laughs> uh, I'm still and... trying to rock towards him. That's my plan. I'm not, I've not stopped doing that. Yeah, so, I mean, no do you want me to try again? or? Yeah, if you want to do an acrobatics check again to try and get to okay. him. I will, of course, pray to my lady for guidance. Did they take my uh, my 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 symbol off me? Yes. In that case, I can't do that. Uh, uh, was this a was this a saving throw or just a straight dex check? Uh, this is an acrobatics I, check. Oh, acrobatics. Can I try and, yeah. anyway. can I try and get closer to Ralph as well? Yes, you certainly can, uh, Ralph. Um, <laughs> it's at this point you failed the second one. You realise that you're on rails. You get to Janice. It's not going to work. You could get to uh... Ralph. Uh, you could get to um, who'd you call him, Ronan? The only person that would be able to rock back and forth to to get to uh, Janice would be Nyla at this point. Oh, I'll do it. Okay, gonna, uh, make an acrobatic check. Uh, just uh, we go to Ralph. Just wait there. I'll try to close to on rails, and I'll kick you closer. Uh, sixteen. Yeah, you start to rock cro uh, closer to him. Um, you're about five foot away from him. Okay. Uh, Ronan, you get to Ralph. The kick, though, you realise we're going, fuck, we're on rails. Yeah. You can you can go walk one way, but you can't go the other. You're, 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 you're together now, but you're stuck there. Nice to meet you closer. I was trying to swing him towards them. See if I can get yeah. him on the other it's, it would be practically impossible because you're on rails. Uh, uh, Melgrum, Ralph, uh, Relgum, sorry, Melgrum, Gaz, what he's doing? I don't have anything to do, man. I mean, I'll try and um, get to Melgrum again. I'm going to look up at the spider. Yeah. Is there an opening 
to it, like, is it all armoured run about me? The underbelly, surprisingly enough, isn't armoured. See around the kind of tops of the legs, mm -hmm. just run about the so shoulder areas, where you would call shoulders, and then the rest of the legs are uh, open just to come up and grab as it's climbing along. Apart from that, it's, uh, all the armour seems to be on the top Am and the front. Am I able to reach the underbelly? Uh, ooh, possibly. I just want to start hitting a spider to see if they're going to react to me doing that. <laughs> Because like, I'm trying to get these box. bugs' attention to notice what's happening to him. And I'm like, if I annoy this spider, they might want to just, like, fucking kick me in a wee bit to calm me down. So, that's yeah. what Melvin's um, thinking. Yeah, if you want to... You could probably get there if you want to try and punch it, but it's, it, would, it would take a hell of a punch to get I'm just meaning for, to, to even to notice me. Like... Yeah, by all means, make the... No, but make the meaning, like, obviously, I doubt I'm going to damage this big, huge spider. Yeah. But is it impossible for it to notice? Certainly worth the try. Why not? Have a go. It's what we're here for. I love for this shit. See, well, that's, see, well, that's happened. That I'm going to try to get it to rock or something, so then the, the other one right. are like... You, you take Jesus. two bludgeoning damages as you realise your hands are still at that, and boom, and you break a couple of fingers. Oof. Well, if I broke a couple of fingers... Does that mean I can squirm? Possibly, but we'll get back to that <laughs> as we are now go to David's next to death saving throw. Ooh, he might stabilize. If you save me. this one, you're all good. He might yeah. stabilize, mm -hmm. or he could get an actual one and fail I two automatically, that. which would take him to two two. How exciting! Dun, dun, dun. How exciting! Chances of that are really low, though. It's happened. Um, <laughs> just on a side note, it doesn't really matter, but uh, Richard's given up DMing as of next week, so this might be related <laughs> to that. <laughs> oh, Talk about ten. lucky. Hmm. Oh, I think, ten. I think if ten. you didn't have that constitution, you would have been screwed. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering whether to count that. What? The rules state ten or above. Yeah, but the rules You're... don't state as well. You can use your constitution saving for which I allow. They do not. Mm -hmm. What I said was very kind of you. See if it was 11, it would have been a pass. I don't know about the 10. One against them, oh. one against them. I'll tell you what. Fail, fail, fail. So you have to get 11 to 20 to pass. That's 50%. That is 50%. Yeah, so yeah. that's one fail. He's actually got okay. higher than that because he's yeah, got... Yeah, yeah, let's do that. That's one it. fail. We'll make it a wee bit easier than that. Oh, I'll shit. Probably... But... Brutal. So Brutal. he's passed two, one failed. So your breathing starts to get heavier again, uh, Janice. Uh, I was reading through the rules for Radiant uh, Flame, and it doesn't actually say it comes out my hands. It just says that the, yeah. the lights come just, from it just, somewhere. Uh, I, it just, uh, um, it's not evaporating. It could uh, also be the property. Of the word. Evaporate or something, I can't remember the word. It just comes out of your eyes. Yeah, it just, no, it just combusts like in the air. Whatever he's pointing, it combusts. It just, no, no, it's Gaz just, isn't able to pull his magic up either. It yeah. could literally be the woods like stopping your magic. So yeah, my girl can see me down here. I'm gonna like shoot if I can see the same bit that uh, Melgrim's seen. That can I really flame that bitch? Yeah, if you want. We did flame that bitch. And then uh, okay, what's like, the saving throw? They have to do a dexterity saving throw. The save is fifteen. I'm gonna okay. aim for the joints. Uh, all the time shouting, um, "You need to help uh, uh, this man. He's no use to you, dead." Uh, does a 22 pass? Yes. I get two okay. shots, so they've got to do it twice. Okay. Uh, I can do it every six seconds. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you. Pass. <laughs> can but I... for brevity's sake, uh, you certainly won't be doing it every six seconds. <laughs> Me, I uh, Does a 17 pass? Just yes. I am only 15. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. But they should have made some light and some noise, though. Uh, it kind of does. It's and then it just snuffs out as it appears. If only someone could have had it's thunder. Away. Remember, you need to remember <laughs> this is a cantrip. This is not a full spell. So a cantrip this is, is a very light, very quick. damage, which is pretty hardcore. Yes, because it's radiant damage. However, mm. it is very, it's very quick. It's a, an engulf. If it catches, Flash. it engulfs. It's basically a spark. It, shoo, if it catches flames. That's when it hits and does the damage. But this just snuffs out. Um, anyone else want to do anything before we go? Uh, yeah, so, Rach, you're, you're five foot closer now. You can try and get closer to him. 
Sure. And uh, that would be a acrobatics. Ten. Ten. You seem to be hitting something. He's not getting any closer to it. David, I need you to make another oh, death save, my friend. Just don't roll a one. Just don't roll a one. Wait there. Wait there before you do the David death saving throne. We'll come back to that next week, people. Ah! <laughs> Yay. I like to see the anguish of ah, it, gives oh, you, yeah, it gives everyone watching a reason to come in next week to see what happens. Will he heroically roll a d20 and come back on his feet with one hit point, or will he get an actual like one? A seven or and something. Just dies <laughs> his, life cut short. <laughs> his life cut short quite quickly in this campaign. Who knows? I don't. Nah, do he's got this. Please come and join us next week for the another exciting adventures from the world of Florium, which I've been told by Lee to say every the time in that voice. Oh, oh don't forget Mutant Just a reference for anyone that doesn't yes. know that you should Welcome know because it's Welcome to old. the world of Florium. <laughs> However, we shall leave it there tonight. But so, before we go, we should go around everybody and thank everyone for the games. And not only that, thanking the viewers who come in and actually took part to go in the chat and speak to us. It's, we, we genuinely appreciate it, is the fact that this is a young channel. We're starting out. We've got folk watching. It's amazing. Thank you very much for your time. However, we will go to Lee. Is there anything you want to promote? Uh, yeah, uh, follow me on Twitch, Lee Max zero uh, one. Follow this if you haven't already. Uh, watch Mutant next Monday. It's awesome. And um, follow me on Instagram if you want to see me in cosplay. Excellent. Uh, Jim, we didn't get to you last week, so what do you want to promote, man? I want to say thanks to all the new followers that came and followed. And uh, for me, watch out for myself. I am a bagpiper and I play in Mulgai Pipe oh. Band, and we just uh, did a good stint at the World Championships. And, uh, oh, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a European champion. All right, okay, get that out of the yeah, way. Yeah, right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I don't know. David, never told you, is there anything you want to promote, my man? <laughs> Um, the only thing I want to specifically say is to everyone that's joined us to watch this so, um, so far, thank you. As Richard was saying, we are quite early on, so make sure to stick about. It's only going to get better from here. Maybe for him, maybe. You never know. Come out <laughs> it's only going to get worse for him. Sir, yeah. For Sir Janice. <laughs> better Leon, for you. What can we say? A, a good him. song. <laughs> um, I've got a Twitch called Napoleon Gold, so if people want to check me out there, where I yeah. never really stream, but yeah, I have that, and uh, yeah, um, come back next time to find out if uh, Janice uh, is, manages to save uh, that, that saving throw, um, and uh, yeah, be be good to one another. So, so. Oh, good man, yeah, it's always a good deal, be good to everyone if I was watching. Uh, Rach, you got anything you want to promote, my dear? Um, thank you to my little brother. Love you, kid. Nice. Hi, uh, Stephen nine seven two four or something like that. <laughs> shout out to Miri, our artist who doesn't mm. play in our D and D game, but she does a ton of a shit and plays in our Monday Mutant game. And very to everybody else, thanks for watching. Uh, we very much appreciate you. Thank you. And is it Tuesday yet? He said the uh, game. Is, that, is, that, is that an original? Is that a Richard original from the mind that's of That's a Richard, Richard original. That's from the original. <laughs> I mean, this is all original, baby. We should yeah. copyright that because it's so good. We don't want anyone else using it. This is that's true. true. I mean, I was thinking of this thing. We can we could have this chat called Tox Machina because no one uses it as far yeah. as I'm aware. <laughs> Scott, yeah. what do you want to promote, man? <laughs> um, well, obviously, this channel I want to promote. Please follow. Please like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Uh, follow the Twitter from it. I would like to think or thank our new followers, Hallie three four nine. Hallie three four nine is uh, my friend who you've met at D and D uh, shop shop before. Um, hey. um, the Steve nine seven six. Yeah. Hey nine seven six. one two o oh, two. Hey. Um, I hey. would also like to thank everyone that joined us. Um, from what I can see, Steph, um, Sally, Lockyer, thank you guys. Um, Get your next I think week. I saw Pete Chips, who is a awesome. We miss you, my man. Pete Chips, my other, um, my other other DM, love do. him. We did have a Levanto. Oh, I don't know if he's came back in, but I think he's away to watch somebody yep. else. The betrayer. 
Never forget ah, well. Didn't even do the double tab and leave us on. Actually yeah. left. Like, is know. that even possible? I don't know. Yes, that it is, is possible. Because I've, yeah. I've left it so on... Um, like, I left it on Smith's yeah, the cool. Goblin whilst we were streaming. Um, oh, good to know. You can do yeah. it yeah, like, yeah. So If somebody's live that anyway. you like and you can't get a chance to watch it, you can leave it. Yeah, if you can, watch Pete's Chips and the Medium No Samurai. You want to, you want to see him yeah. as a streamer as well. He does streaming all the time I in the game. I absolutely will support mm-hmm. Pete Chips if I'm... I think I'm... I am off on Sunday, so I will definitely... Is it this Sunday? It's once a month you guys run, is it not? Well, uh, so every once, every Saturday, maybe once a month. It's. I think it's going to be off for a couple of days, uh, a couple of weeks, because some things have happened, which we'll, we'll probably need to uh, eventually deal with. But, hey, he streams every week. He does play games. Uh, some, he does a horror thing on Fridays, which you should always watch. He's very good at the horror stuff. I love making him... I love frightening him with, the, with all these interactive stuff. Love it. Anyhow. Um, I would also like to thank everybody that came tonight. <laughs> That's the last one for the night. Um, Brilliant. Excellent. Oh, so, oh wait. Um, I nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Who was it? Thank you very much. Just one more person to deck for providing this lovely world to explore. Yes, thank you, oh, Richard. Oh, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's that's a coin to your GM. <laughs> However, uh, that is the end of the stream. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, boy, and hopefully, going. we will see what happens mm-hmm. next week. And uh, welcome <laughs> to the world of Florium. <laughs> okay, do okay, 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 guys. I won't stop waving till this turns off by the way.